Is the Elden Ring video done? No. <laughs> so but you're going to double it wait, up? Wait, wait, wait. Actually, wait, wait, wait. By the time this is out, it should be done. So, yes, it is done. Wow. Do I get to see it early? Yeah, sure. Fuck everyone that didn't get to see it early. I saw Ben's Elden Ring video by the, first. By the Fuck time you. this is out, everybody that has seen it would have seen it late. already saw it. Or I'm so proud you? of you, Ben. I'm so proud of you for wait, figuring. Wait, no, future, future. You saw it after. Past, you saw it, idiot. Dumbass, you're dumb Dumbass. if you didn't get what he just said. Yep, that's what I'm saying. Happy 2024. Happy 2024. I'm drinking Happy this, and it's making my stuffing my nose. It is Alexis got it. It's like mango. Mango. Is that boba. Yeah, it's like boba, but it's not I don't like good. boba. I like boba, but this is like mango and it's like weird jelly. I don't know. It's not great. I don't like sucking up little bits of shit while I drink something. What do you like? Smooth. I like it when my drinks are smooth. You know what? You know what's really smooth? And you know what we're having tonight, my brother? What? Me and you? We can, we can sex. Oh. I just, I just have that as a prop on the side. Wow. You're not yeah. drinking it, actually? I kind of a little bit. Don't tell my mom. I only got I'm calling her right now. I don't know Kelly's number. Going Janice. Her name's Kelly. I'm going Kelly. She, 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 Kelly you should Paquette. know her name. She invited you over to, to our house. I said, I have a friend from Phoenix, and she, she said, you should fly him out. Oh. I'm so sorry, you Kelly. Know Kelly's name. Yeah. Hey, if you go on whitepages.com, go to Connecticut and look up Kelly Paquette. <laughs> I'm you won't sure find you can... shit because that's not her name. Wow. Oosh. Is yep. she still she, going by her maiden name? A, yes, she's an alpha, and she she goes by her <laughs> maiden name. She's a wow. sigma. She does her own thing. Alpha she Kelly. Her, she strains her own way. Wow. Yeah. Well, welcome to 2024, everyone. I'm sick. Well, they wait. They, wait, I'm, actually. The episode comes out tomorrow, so there already was a 2024 episode, but we're welcomed into 2024 right now. Well, it was also live. The last episode was live. It, That's true. Public, you could have, if you're a lucky That's son true. of a gun, caught us live for that, so it's not the first time it's publicly available. True. This is the first. We're back to fully edited episodes, right, Ben? Yes, we right. are. Right. Yes, you're going to fully edit this one. Pop up handsome. something fun on the screen. It's been like, a while since I made you pop up something pew, fun pew, on the screen. Pew, pew, pew. He's doing circles. Wow. wow. Spend exactly five minutes editing something right here. And if it takes you longer, just quit. It's good to see you. It's yep. good to uh, feel edited again. It's not fun to be sick. I feel like I started last year sick, too. Yeah, and I ended what last what year what, sick, too. What happened to you? Why are you sick? I don't know. I just woke up today sick you know this is like day one of being sick on whatever i have so you know i'll for sure be better by the time i come out there but this is like i don't know what i have i went to work today um you know if anyone from work is seeing this i'm sorry uh i told people i wasn't sick and i believe that for half the day but then towards the time of me leaving in the back of my mind i'm like no i'm definitely <laughs> sick but i had already worked there like half the day you know um, what, what, is it, it's obviously congestion i can hear you you're kind of congested what else is it oh i have a cough drop in um my stomach was really fucking hurting earlier uh like sore poopy? throat coughing congestion no Poop. i w- <laughs> actually i wish because i feel like that would help me but that's not happening right now mm. so and I'm skipping Damn. dinner to do this show. Usually, I, this would be the time when I'd be making dinner, but instead, I'm, guy, I'm making bro. content uh, instead. Uh, you know, you know what will make you feel better on an empty stomach? My little prop right Kisses. here. Kisses. Oh. Yep. Wow. Um, you know, Zach, I'm I, not helping Alexis's comment on like this is just a flirting show. This is yeah, just no. a show where we flirt. No, but uh, but she's right, and that's okay. I'll make I'll make jokes all the time. I don't know, what was the joke? Know, my was girlfriend just tried to call me right now. That's a bad time to call me. Hey, 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 hey. We're, 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 I don't remember where we were. I don't remember where we were either. Sorry about that. You know, duty calls. She heard I was talking about flirting with you, and she called me immediately to bitch me mm. out. Alexis made a joke, or I made a joke towards Alexis earlier, where I was like, "I never think." I, I, the conversation went to like, "I never think about cock," and then I said, "Until." Yeah, Zach is supposed to come here. I don't know. I make a lot of gay jokes. 
specifically about your arrival here? You're straight, so it's like pretty uncomplicated to make gay jokes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, and. My hair's so Being a like, heteroflexible grim. male, you make jokes like that around your girlfriend and they're like, ha You know? What is heteroflex explain that? What is heteroflexible? I don't and know. I, I, I just felt weird about saying the term like bisexual again. Heteroflexible just means like you're a straight dude, but like if if a girl invited you to like a male, female, male threesome, you'd be like, Yeah, okay. Like, you know, maybe maybe you'd touch a guy just to get to the point where like a girl girl would be, you know? Like you're, you'd be comfortable being naked around another dude to bag a chick, you know? Okay. So that, that just makes you that. I mean, is that even flexible? I think that's just, just straight simping. Simping. Yeah. You, you I think right. simping is defined as like you're, you're, you know, I don't know. Maybe it's like a form of simping if it's really for that one girl. But like to right. me, simping is like doing things you wouldn't want to do to like get to, I don't know. I feel like heteroflexible is more of like, you just don't care. Like, okay, sure. Mm. Like, I don't want to bang a dude, but like, who cares if another dude sees me naked? I'm I'm banging this chick, you know? Mm. But I feel like simping is more like, oh, I don't want to, but anything for you, princess, you know? Like, that would be me. Yeah. With you. Wow. Am I your princess? (laughs) Wow. So you're, you're homo flexible. (laughs) <laughs> doesn't really? this hoodie make me look like a big fucking doofus <laughs> you like, look like a teletubby <laughs> it's a pretty like lightweight hoodie uh, it's just that I'm wearing the headphones underneath this so it makes me look like I have a bulbous head you, you, you know what's this uh, for Christmas right no I actually this is a Washington Commanders hoodie oh, and I on. got it at the game on my DC trip um not so funny story about that that I'm going to tell anyways. I get to the game. It's like a really rainy and foggy day. I've sent you pictures of it to put up before. And I'm like, I was just wearing my jersey. And I was like, it could rain any moment. I want to get a hoodie. So I go to the team shop. And like, the hoodies are like 200 fucking dollars. Like, they're like a stupid amount of money for yeah, like a hoodie. Um, so like, there were some cooler ones that I maybe would have like, bought. But I found this one for like $95 or something like that. And I was like, fuck it. It's going to go under my jersey anyways. I'll buy this one. So I go. That is like that is a it. preposterous amount of money to spend on that. It's like, it seems well, to be good on. quality, but like not that good quality. But go ahead. Okay. Hear me out. So I, I was going to do it anyways because without it, I could have potentially been out in the fucking rain for three hours. You know. Um, but so I go to the guy to ring it up. And he goes, that'll be $40. Oh. Yep. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Paid it. Mm-hmm. Left. I don't know why. I later found out it was fan appreciation day. I don't know if that means they were going to like give discounts or whatever, but like, you know, maybe he just I, had his somehow, eye on some you. way I came out with a 50% off hoodie. You know, so, I had a similar situation when I was getting Alexis's, uh, um, dick implants. Dick implants. It was fifty percent off. No, it was uh, her her balloons. <laughs> said, buy one get one, and you said, yeah, I'll take a dick too. <laughs> yep, absolutely. I got fourteen nylar balloons <coughs> because she was very Four- slow, and I was like, just fuck it. Fourteen what? Just nylar balloons, like the the fuck is a nylar balloon? The fucking the fucking like metal y looking ones, the tin looking ones. That's a helium balloon, brother. Sure, helium balloon. Um. I, I got 14 because the 15th one is just... Uh, you know we're time. running uh, out of helium? I haven't heard that until just now. Well, thank it's you like, for letting it, me it know. It could I'll, happen I'll, within our lifetimes, I'll, too. I'll conserve as much helium as I can going forward. I did not like, know If that. you Google how much, like how many more years left until we run out of helium, it's like some estimates put it like at 50 years. Bro, helium's going to go extinct before me, maybe. I'm like 30. Potentially. That might not even be true. Well, I don't know. Your body seems to be on a trajectory to not live another yeah, 50 years. I'm not years. making it to 35. I'm, I'm going to be real with you. Yeah, we got to get um, our podcast money in now so I can profit off of it and inherit the business we built together. Like, that's what, also, I can live like at least five happy years. You feel and like? We can create the Ben Paquette Foundation for children that are all fucked up. That's similar the Ben Epstein Paquette Island. Foundation for fucked up kids <laughs> that, fall, that are falling apart. Yeah. Like the Island yeah. of Misfit Toys, you know? 
right in the Virgin Islands area. I say that, but right now your body's probably in better shape than mine. I sleep with my ankle hanging off of the bed and my ankle hurts for like three hours every morning. I don't have that. I, my ankle doesn't hurt, but I am too tall for my bed. Mm. Mm. That's You're big guy problems, dude. They need to make like like bed sizes, but like with like an extra four inches for length. Yeah, it's a twin long or whatever. That's what it's called. Twin right? long? Yeah, it's a twin. You can get like a twin. That's long our Chinese like, name. Twin whose Chinese name? Ours. <laughs> our <laughs> Is it like our Chinese? Like he's a yeah, little like Chinese. A if we person? went to China as a group, they'd go, "Oh, oh. look, it's it's Twin Long." I thought you meant like, that, like that's our, an awful our, joke. our Chinese boy, like our, our our little Chinese. Put in the uh, YouTube short I made of us speaking Chinese. Our Chinese. I hope you don't. If you will, please in the comments. Bing Chiling. I don't know. I don't know what you don't remember that? that is. No. When did we speak Chinese? I don't remember that. Remember I edited it. And I was like a oh, female voice. You did. Yes, I do remember I don't that. want to that spend early, too much time. Yeah, it was like a few months in. I don't want to spend too much time live on this episode looking for it and like halting the conversation. But remind me and I'll search for it. It's somewhere. Um, I want to get back to my Nylar, Nylar, Nylar thing. So it was the same situation. I get my helium, sorry, helium balloons. And you can call it whatever you want. I was just three, confused. Three dollars a pop, which is crazy. At least for me. When I was working at Dollar Tree, it was a dollar a pop. Just because we're running out of helium, dude. Three dollars a pop. I get fourteen of them, and I'm like, all right, it's gonna be like forty-two bucks, right? That's that's obviously mental math. Oh, forty-two bucks, and then the extra stuff that I got, and it was like twenty-eight dollars or twenty-two dollars or something. I was like, she didn't ring up any of these fucking nylar balloons. She did not ring up a single nylar balloon, and I'm like, based though. And I told her I was even like, I pointed at him. I was like, did you get these? She's yep, I got them. Okay, sweet. I just walked out. And then I, I went two days later, three days later, is a different person working there. And he, I, I was charged 45 something dollars for fucking 15. Uh, uh, no, it was like 30 something dollars for 10 more balloons. What the fuck? <laughs> Stupid penis shit. Why did bro Stop need 10 more balloons? Dude. Huh? Why did bro need 10 more balloons? So I got them for her birthday day and then I got them for her birthday <laughs> celebration. Get a cough drop, dude. You need one. You need. A I cough just drop. finished one. Oh, your mouth is probably all dry and gross now. And grody. I just want to see what I got to flex on you. So what my did you brother, get? my my older brother. You know, are you familiar with a Tokyo treat box? No. It's just like one of the, like a loot crate of like uh, uh, Japanese anime. I'll treat your Tokyo box. Little Whatever bento could that box. Mean? I'm gonna well, bend. I, I can bendo. Ver, uh, I got these Kit Kats. They're what flavor are cake. they? It's really pixelated for me. Uh, read it. I literally can't read it. Our connection's pretty bad right now. I dropped it. That was not even on purpose. Um, it says something in Japanese. It's like oh, cake, strawberry, strawberry cake. I also got this for my birthday. My birthday's not until the end of the month. I also got it. I also got this. Oh, so you're getting early birthday presents. I also got this. Oh, oh, oh! I, I, I've been meaning to ask you about that for the past two days. Um, what is the status on the battery situation? Does it work? Have you gotten the replacement battery from GoPro yet? When there, is it going to come? Uh, it, it shipped yesterday. Okay, because you do realize that there's a pretty like uh, there's like a one month window for me to initiate a return of no, it, the, and then the, you also the, have to like get a new one. The day that I got this is, is when I was like, bro, it doesn't work. I mean, look, I, I hold the battery power button down. Nothing happens. Hey, look, that's me. Wait, that's me in the reflection. Well, I'm all fucked up, huh? Yeah. Are you, are you doing all right? Are you, uh, are you living right now? Okay. I mean, I'm alive. Okay, yeah, wait, you messaged me earlier today and you're like, hey, is there any chance you could do the news? Which, first of all, I'm happy you like it. I really like it. I do. I, I really like in the news. I like, I it like has been a while since I've done it, but I was sick and I had like, not an emergency project at work, but like something where I needed to get it done like today, you know, like something that couldn't wait until next week. Yep. And so I was kind of crunching to get that done. I was sick. And then I only have like an hour to get home from work to do this show. So, 
you know, not a lot of time <laughs> for me to do that. Well, I'm sorry you feel sick, Zach. I feel very bad that you f- you're you're feeling ill. Um, yeah, you look good though. Oh yeah, I mean, do Zach, I look, you look puffy? Like, you look like you look like a handsome fella. This, that's that. There's a handsome fella. I'm gonna try to use this as a. Should I put cam. a hat on over this? Should you put a hat on over that? No. Yeah. Why would you put it on over that? I don't know. It'd be, f- it'd be f- silly. Oh, wait, if it would be silly, then absolutely. Okay. Put on a hat. Does this look better? Is this silly? You gotta like, you gotta like cement it to your head a little bit, though. My headphones are kind of being about as far down as it's gonna go. Well, you do look a little bit silly. Not as silly as I was kind of like hoping you would look. Like, you look kind of silly. I want, I just want to use this fucking thing as a webcam, and it's not letting me. Yeah, can, it's on now. Oh, but when you unplug it, it breaks. Yeah. I got to tell you, dude. It has been a boring ass week for me, to be honest. I, I, had nothing, has I, it I, had, I haven't work? edited. I, I, it's been work. I've, uh, I haven't slept enough. Stayed up late a bunch of times. I haven't slept enough. I, um, I'm almost done with Temtem, Zach. <laughs> wow. <laughs> the <laughs> Temtem player. Yep. Um... Really, it. Uh, that's, that's actually all, all my week has been comprised of. Um, but I did see something in the news that I wanted to talk about because it's, it's Holy interesting. Shit, is it the Miami alien mall invasion? Nope, that's way too recent. I was thinking of the thing that happened like three days ago where that kid beat Tetris. Oh, yeah, you saw that. Is that your dream? It's not my dream. I'm really bad at Tetris, but I bring it up because. It's interesting to me. Okay, so do you know do you know what beating te- beating Tetris means? Yeah, like he went so far, the game was like numbers overloaded or something, yeah, and the game shut down. Game. Yeah, yeah. There's no program ending. He just went until the game, like, yeah, couldn't register more data. <coughs> this is the sick episode. This is the sick episode. Just vile. It blows my mind that the younger, you, like you're. When were are you were you do you think in your mind that you were better at Halo when you were like fifteen yeah. than now? Yeah, definitely. Right? right? Definitely. I think the same thing. Wait, is it working? <gasps> it's working. Hold on. I'm switching my camera if I can. Can I? I can't. What the crap, dude? I thought I was gonna be freaking epic. I was gonna change it to this. I can't. All that worked for nothing, dude. I remember specifically a memory of me playing Halo 3 while eating Golden Grams and only playing like half the game and still top scoring. When You're the weird, fuck dude. have I done that in the last, like, since Halo's been on PC, like four years? I've not there's done also, that once. There's also a level of patience, too, where it's like, I've beaten every Halo game on Legendary Difficulty, both solo and and co-op for the ones that have it. Well, that's all of them. Uh, all the way through, like, I think Halo 4 was where I technically stopped. And then, you know, that was it. No, wait, I did Halo 4. Yeah, I went through Halo 4. Yeah, and then right. I stopped. And it's like, Sorry, sometimes that. it'd be cool to do it again. But I just don't have the time or patience for it right now. Oh, I, I love, Campaign is actually one of my one of my favorite. Legendary run time? I, dude, I would do, I would do a marathon stream with you. On their regurgitated channel of just playing Halo, uh, Halo, all of the campaigns in Legendary. I would 100% do that. I fucking love playing the campaigns. Um, You've also played than, through Cursed Halo like a billion times. I played through Cursed Halo and Cursed Halo again. I've never played it once, but I like the videos of the guy that makes them. Dude, Cursed Halo is so fucking good. Um, have you done an Infinite uh, Legendary? <laughs> you know what? I did do that one on Legendary. Yeah. That's that awesome. was the only other recent one, though, that I've done on Legendary. That's a good one. That's a very good oh, one. Oh, you know, no, no, no. Wait, 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 wait. Mm. <laughs> Either I've beaten it on Legendary or I've almost beaten it on Legendary. One of the two. Yeah. yeah. It, it just, it, I, 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 I still like doing that. And I, and I think I'm still good, en- good enough at that. I don't you know, know what I mean, though? Things, like, but... my patience towards video games is much lower now. Yeah. I, I, I mean, I play Pokemon, so I guess, <laughs> but I kind of do. Either way. 
it blows my mind how I think that I was much better when I was younger. And and like Sean will talk about like the chess server that he's in or whatever. And like everybody in that server is like 13 and he's like 28 and he's getting his fucking ass reamed by 13 year olds. Wow, that was a weird sentence. Um, pause. Pause. Um, Epstein pause. list got leaked. You weren't on it. I haven't checked for Sean. I don't think the full thing got leaked. I was going to wait until the 22nd. 150. Well, uh, what you're thinking of did get leaked. It's not like a list. It's not like a clear cut list of all the names like everyone wanted, but it's 150 pages of court documents. And they went public yesterday. Oh. What what did we learn? You didn't see Stephen Hawking was in there? weird. I did see that. I don't. Was that real? I don't think. Well. Sorry, I think Stephen Hawking was real. I don't think the thing that they said that he liked was real. I think it might be. But either way, Stephen Hawking was there. Which is very funny. Yeah. That thumbnail from episode 30 did not age well, huh? Or we do it again. We're on the Epstein list. We're on the Epstein list and we're just with Epstein's corpse. Did you see, um, <laughs> did you see Epstein's... Uh, Digging up Epstein's dead body? Well, did you Too see serious. the Epstein um, autopsy? They released his autopsy. Uh, I mean, unless I saw something fake, but it looked uh, pretty it's real all to me. Topsy turvy. Uh, yeah, he didn't look like he killed himself. I'll tell you what. So, I think even more court documents just got released today too, if I'm not mistaken. But I haven't really looked through them. Yeah, check for yourself and check for Sean. Yeah, control F Sean wait, a day. At the time that we w- that that Epstein Island was like the most popular, we would have been children, wouldn't we? <laughs> <laughs> 2009, right? In like 09? That'd be really funny if like a child movie star got in trouble for being on the Epstein court documents, you know? It's like, wow. Like Macaulay Culkin. Yeah. No, he would have been an adult. I don't know. Depends on how long it was going on, maybe. I, mean, I don't know how old Macaulay Culkin is. I always I think he's, older. he's my age, but I don't think he is. Oh, he can't be. He was a child star in the 80s, right? Was it the 80s? I thought it was the 90s. When did Home Alone come out? I don't know. I thought that was the late eighties. That might have been. I I just got my dates fucked up. I don't know. Wasn't he like a Michael Jackson victim? I have an S. Yeah. Let's do the um <laughs> Scott the Waz come Queens bit again, but it's on Macaulay Culkin on Epstein Island. What what's what's the show called? Child Abuse. Nice. Nice, dude. I'm, I'm actually so down for that. Job. I'm so down for child abuse. I'm so down for it. Um, Welcome to there should be new content did, on the regurgitated did, channel soon. Look out for we, child abuse coming out soon. <laughs> how did we get to that from Halo 3? Because um, we get abused by children oh, in Halo 3. Yep, yeah, right. I just I, I just find it very fascinating. How like I'm supposed to be like 25 or whatever. Supposed to be like peak health, right? Or whatever. They say 25 is like the year of peak health. And these fucking kids are walloping on me. And it's hurting my feelings. What did I I say? Uh, Molly womped. You didn't like the word Molly womped. Mm -hmm. These kids are Molly womping you. Dude, I'm getting Molly womped in Fortnite. How are these kids Molly womping me in Fortnite? That one makes more sense than chess. Whoa. How was that mango boba? Not great. How... How does that make more sense than chess? Explain that to me. Well, Fortnite's like notorious for being like a game that children play. Kids can be good at chess, but like it's not like known for being like a kid's game, you know? Do you not play Fortnite? I've never played Fortnite. What the fuck? Is that real? No, I've never played. I hopped on for the uh, Travis Scott concert. Why is that the one thing you did? Because I heard they were doing a Travis Scott concert. <laughs> Didn't you hop in for the Eminem one, dude? No, I was on a trip. That was last year, right? Technically. That happened um, That happened while I was in D.C., I think. Yeah, it might have been. It might have lined up. I bought the Eminem uh, skin and then have not played Fortnite since. Did you buy the Peter Griffin skin? I did not buy the Peter Griffin skin. I- it is one Fortnite's one of those games that I'll play like for maybe like eight hours every year or so, and then I'll be done with you know I'm I'm good like I'm not 
it's not that wow. interesting anymore. Do you want to make a video game? Dude, I do. I want to make something for this, for my play date. <gasps> new games available, Zach. There's new games available. When I was a take kid. A guess, take a guess what the games are called. Tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me. Wait, there's no new games. Where are the new games? Oh, I found one. Hold on. Halo 8. Recommendation Dog. I would never play Recommendation Dog. You would never play Recommendation Dog? I would never play Recommendation Dog. I would, dude, I would slam down some Recommendation Dog. I hope you slam down your Recommended Dong. I'm going to, I'm going to recommend, I'm going to make a recommendation. Yeah. Come over. Okay. Sick, dude. That was actually so cool. Um, (laughs) When I was a kid, there was this like other kid in my class. I was like pretty very young. <laughs> the, the just only two of you ever. Okay. The, you, you, you and the other kid. Okay. Go ahead. I'm listening. I'm so invested. Oh, now. there are other kids there too. Well, how many? Like 30, maybe 20 or 30. 30 how many kids so are in were, class? There was third. The, there were the third. There's the group of 30 kids and then you and other kid. So there's this, there's this other kid in my class. Yep. And he told me that his brother like makes video games that he has like oh, a software. Brother. There's another character. Okay, there's 33 people in this. He character. says his older brother has like a computer software where he can make video games. And I got so excited. I went home and I wrote a list of like everything I wanted in a video game, and it was the most ridiculous list. Keep in mind, this is like 2000 and like six, maybe. You know what I mean? And it's like I want to be like an open world game where like you play as like Teletubbies and you like murder people, and it's the whole environment's destructible, and you can like blow up highways and like do like motorcycle tricks, and you know what I mean? Like I wrote down like you can blow up highways and do motorcycle tricks. (laughs) Yeah, it was like it was like it's on a sheet of paper, just like a list this big of like stuff I want to do in a video game. And I gave it to him, and I'm like, "This is hey, I want to make this game. Tell your brother to make this game." And he's like, "Oh, okay." And then I never heard back from it again. And I like think. I think back on that memory and I'm like, that's so cringe to be like, to like think that he has just like an automatic video game machine, you know, dude, the, he might have a prototype that you never got to play. And he was like, here, take this Disney or whatever. And you never yeah. get to see it. No, he probably had like RPG maker or something. Probably. What is, what, what is that exist back then? Is, what? What, what, what is, who owns Teletubbies? It's not Disney. Like ABC. PBS. PBS maybe. Um, I did the same. Th- I did a similar thing. Not with not with this. <laughs> I have two stories. One, I went to a video game making class and didn't learn a fucking thing. We learned how to <clears throat> learned how to make the, the 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 game where you like just move a plane left to right and you just shoot little things out of the sky. <laughs> and then I, I saw a guy making a first person shooter in the same um in the same engine, and Software. I thought that was the coolest fucking. Thing. <laughs> I was like, bro. I messed around so with Unity a bunch. If I go on my personal channel and look at all my private videos, and there's like 30 videos in there of like my game development journey. And all it was was me like ripping assets from like other people's yeah. YouTube yeah. videos yeah. Yeah. and like stitching it together and then like asking for help <laughs> as yeah. to why yeah. stuff isn't working in the comments. Yeah. That was literally what it was. But I got a f I got a couple functioning games. They just weren't good. Not even in the sense of like oh, this is like some kid learning coding and it's good. It's like, no, it's just like whatever. Like, I jankified it so yeah. hard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I fucked around with Unity for VR chat stuff, but that was pretty much... Was it Unity? What was I going I think so, for VR chat stuff. Um, but, um, yeah, uh, I really wanted to make a first-person shooter when I was a kid, so that was like blew my mind. When I was a kid, I was like maybe early high school. Um, I didn't make one because that take too much brain, too much brain for me. I'm too small brain guy, so it doesn't work for me. Um, I mean, you work on computers and stuff now too. I, I went to uh, Cisco Networking Academy for a little bit when I was younger. How was that? I moved to Arizona, so I never completed it. Great. Okay, so pretty. But good. It was cool when I went. I learned how to work on computers and networks and shit. I mean, one specific thing that you learned. I couldn't tell you at this point. Wow. What are we doing here? 
I knew like physically how to take apart computers and like server racks and shit, but like I already kind of knew how to do that. Yeah. You know, all the all the uh, all the physical I was in like high school. Does your did your high school have like a program where you could like avoid taking a few classes and instead get like bust out to like a vocational school? No. Like a trade school? Really, they had it both in Maryland and Arizona. In Arizona, it's called EVIT. I forget what they what it's called in uh, Maryland. But uh, yeah, like kids would go out, like kids that wanted to be like mechanics and shit, they would just be like, yeah, I don't want to take like three classes. Instead, bust me out and I'll spend three hours working on shop instead. You mm-hmm. know, yeah. there's like a few different ones. I took the IT one where I was like, yeah, I don't want to go to school. I don't want to do like school school. I want to be like an IT guy. Well, I, I went to a magnet school so that and it was already, it was already, um, c- uh, centered that around. That must've technology. been a real challenge after they put that fucking metal plate in your head. Yeah. It was I, walking around was such a hassle. My head was already heavy enough. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> it's funny. It's funny that, that, dude. Um, no, we didn't have anything like that, but we, we had, uh, we had to do internships. I don't know if that was a normal thing, but we had to do internships. You had to do internships for high school? Yeah, I, I did two of them because... What did you uh, intern at? So my first internship was with uh, Central Connecticut State University editing a video to show the orientation. Wow. I helped none because they were using Final Cut. And I was like, I don't know what the fuck that is. And doing live action shots and stuff. And I was like, and you were like, I, do, I make I Halo machine buddy. Make, no, I, I make Minecraft videos, bro. I don't know what you're talking about. Like, I don't know oh, <laughs> what yeah. idea this shit is. Um, so I was no help. I was, I mean, I, I was like editorial help, but not really like hands on. It was very, like, that's a really smaller type. level of what happened to me when I moved to Arizona as well, too. Back in Maryland, I was taking like a, some other shop class, not mechanic shop. Like I talked about earlier, it was like wood shop and like metalworking and shit. And so they were like the Arizona school system. They were like, what, uh, what do we put this kid in? That's the same over here. And there was some like engineering class or something. And again, another thing to note too, was when I was in Maryland, we were like, they had like a block structure. So you take two hour long class, half of your class is two hours long first semester. And then the rest of your class is two hours long, second semester, second semester had just started. So I'd only taken like a week or two of those courses. Then I moved to Arizona and it was already spring break out here. Like the times were just all fucked up. So that what that essentially meant was I only got to take like a month and a half of every class, my, my fresh, that whatever year that was. Um, and so that was really complicated for me because I ended up skipping algebra. <laughs> <laughs> which made the wow. rest of my education career yep. really complicated. But yep. um, yeah, they put me in this engineering class to get to this part of the story. And uh, my team they put me with was doing like battle bots. They were building robots and like battling them. Okay. And that was their like school project that we were doing. Again, what I was doing back in Maryland for two weeks, keep in mind, was like measuring wood and like figuring out how to like saw it properly. You know what I mean? Like that was what I was doing. And they immediately were like, go build robots. And so I did like nothing. You know what I mean? Like I was like the guy that held the flashlight, (laughs) you know, like they had already designed everything. They're already building everything. But then I did get to go to a battle bots tournament and I was on the news. I was like interviewed as like a battle. There's a video of this somewhere. (laughs) I I was on the Arizona local news as being like, this is Zachary Marshall. He like built this robot. And I was like, yeah, man, it's crazy to be here and fight robots. And meanwhile, in the back of my mind, I'm like, I didn't do fucking shit, dude. (laughs) I let other people build a robot. And then I was on the news for building robots. Lucky you. Was that your first uh, look into stardom? Yeah, probably. My first look into stardom was when my Daryl Green when I was a kid. I met Mickey Mouse at fucking Disneyland. So I don't. Do you think you're fucking cool? And my and, yeah. and and Scott Haney said my name on the news, but he said it wrong. I met Jeffrey said, Epstein so, when I was 13 years old. Yep, took a flight. Oh, oh, I had a second internship, um, where I was in oh, a yeah. recording in a recording studio. Ooh, uh, at my school, we had a recording studio at my school. 
And I would just, if someone needed mixing and mastering, I'd be the guy. I didn't know what the fuck I was doing. I was fucking 16. I have no idea what I'm doing at 16. They're, um, the community college that I went to after I dropped out of normal college when I was like, I'm going to still get my degree. So technically, I'm still enrolled. I think about taking more classes there every now and then. I'll just fucking say it what it is because it's a remote college. It's an online college. You're not going to find me there. It's um, Rio Salado Community College in the greater Phoenix area. And um, they ha- they run the local like jazz radio station in this area. And they wow. have like in their little headquarters where you go to sign up for classes and like talk to a counselor. Um, they have like the little radio station there. And I always thought that'd be like a really cool place to like, like how, like what do I have to do at the school to like get myself in that booth somewhere and like work on the radio show for a bit? I always thought that would be fun. You radio know? scares me. Yeah. I think you'd be really good at radio stuff. I think you have the voice for it. And I think you have the personality for it. And I think you well, can. Well, I was just thinking more like like a tech for something. I don't think they would let me just start talking on the air. I think, no, I think it would be, be a great, great radio, radio host. too. Yeah, I think you'd be yeah. a great radio host. Should we start wait, an, wait, our wait, own online radio yeah, show? In, Introduce like my song. I'm an. I, I, here's this. Here's the. I've situation. already done a radio bit for this show. I know, by the but way, you haven't done it. You you let you uh, you 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 let you 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 have you will. All right. Here's here's the situation. I made a new song called Weakness, but weakness. Weakness, b u t t weakness. All right. That's the song. It's 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 a new song. Debut. It's be debuting right now. On your on your on your uh, your uh, uh, radio channel, and I'm like an up and coming gangster rapper from Washington. You're giving me too much information to remember. Okay, up, okay. gangster rapper from up up and coming white gangster rapper from Washington. Weakness, but weakness. It's the de- the debut. Go. Welcome to 37.8 in the morning. This is Zach and the Honky. Uh, today we're debuting a new record from uh, this new white boy who's trying to do gangster rap. It's called Weakness But Weakness. Take a listen. I'm also sick. Dude, that sounded great. Yeah. I like how I like I like. First of all, 37.8 doesn't make any sense because no, it's not a real odd, radio station. Odd numbers, dude. Welcome to 37.1. About integers. Hockey in the morning. What would, you, what would you call that? Odd numbers. I've never considered the. Uh, now you have me hooked up on that. Yeah, it's, what it's, would you it's, call that? It's odds odd versus instances? evens. What is the name? I don't know for that. Can we call someone up? Do, do, do we, Who should I call? That would, anybody that would know? Uh, call the uh, call the, the the dollar store Ben. He he'll, he's really smart. He would know. He would not answer my phone call. What <laughs> 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 about calling my grandfather? If I if I called my grandfather, no, I have uh, no one to call. There would be no ring because my all of my grandfathers are dead. Isn't that sad? I have no one to call when I need to know odds versus evens. Well, you just figured it out. That's all it is. It's odds versus evens, dude. I, I gotta be no, really, I'm just I distracted on Instagram. So fucking bad. I have to poop so bad right now. Do you want to take a break? I, can we take a poop break? You want to poop too? We can poop at the same time. No. Should I drive out to McDonald's though? Yeah, dude. Can you can you get me something? Can you grab me a McCafe coffee caramel flavor mm. ice? No, but I can eat it in front of you. Okay, let's do it. Okay. I'll be back whenever that's done. Sorry, it might take a minute. All right. Take a break. Break. Wow. We're here at McDonald's. We really made it. Yeah, I have mobile order JG36. All right. We got the uh, McDonald's. We got the Mickey D's. We got the Mickey D's. Let's go inside and finish this episode, baby. Are you not familiar with the Dunkachino? Is it just a Dunkachino pod? I don't know what that is. What did you do, Dunkachino? Is it just a regular cappuccino? No, Dunkachino is... Um, uh, hot chocolate coffee. So a mocha. What the fuck foul words are you spitting my way? You just sound ignorant right now, dude. It's half a you're mocha. Coming off, you're coming off as really ignorant to me right now with this. I'm ignorant. You're ignorant. You're very ignorant to me. 
How was your poop break? I'll be good in about ten minutes. What 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 make what would make it good in ten minutes? When I have to go. You have to go what? You're not getting me. <laughs> try. These I are my try. rules. Are the nuggets making you feel better? No, but it feels good to eat. Are you hungry? I'm so out of it, bro. That's okay. I feel bad. This is my first <clears throat> episode of the year because I'm just my head is not in the right place. Not even like a, oh, I'm just working too much type way. You know when you're sick and you just feel lightheaded, and mm-hmm. you just space out. That's where I'm at right now. That's where I'm at every day. Wow, it must suck to be you. I'd hate to have your oh. life. Funny you say that. I think I have low testosterone. Have I told you this before? I think you may have, but elaborate. Um, because I'm always tired and always very sweaty when I, especially when I'm sleeping. I'm always pretty tired too, but I feel like I need to get my diet in check first. Not me. <clears throat> You're gonna go straight to testosterone. Yep. Straight to the T, baby. Man, I wanted to ride bikes around here, but it's like winter. And yeah. And people would be getting wily in the winter in Cleveland. Tell you what? Crime. And a lot of st- a lot of weird stuff's have been happening very recently on uh, like what? In Cleveland. You know, no random shooting. One girl got murdered. So crime. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, like like a, a fourteen, a fifteen year old got murdered. Like, I might be just living in Cleveland, bro. Well, apparently, where I'm living, it's not supposed to be that bad. And very recently, it turned bad. Maybe it's because they found out you live there. Get this cracker bread, out. motherfucker, out of town. Want oh, cracker bread? No, bro. Okay, is the consensus that Cracker Barrel is bad or good? I've always thought good. But I hear, like, I feel like I hear bad a lot. The meme is that they're racist. Not that they're bad. Racism e- does not equal bad. I agree. But I don't know. I'm Bro, not a black man. I'm not a black guy. <laughs> Me neither. I can't say I am either. Can't tell you if they're racist or not. I have a good time. Yeah, I mean, why, why, not, pretty why, not, why not benefit from. Fellow racists. Privilege. I really I like know. Chick-fil-A. Oh, me too. They're homophobic. They are homophobic. But no, they're not. You can maybe pass if your head are flexible. But nothing else. Or if like ironically head are flexible. Like I'm just fucking I'm just like just giving kisses to dudes on the side. Like that was a joke though. None of you might be bi if you're kissing dudes. You're saying if I if I give a big wallop to my boys on the lips, I give well, I give a big that's a good point too. Ripper. You can like give friendship kisses, then you might be heteroflexible. Kind of depends terminology on the intent straight. of the kiss. Your terminology hmm? straight. I'm kissing my boys to get a me? big stinking boner. What do you mean? Of course, it's what I'm kissing my boys for. Should we get a sexuality expert on the show? Well, Sean's been here a million times. I wouldn't let that dude kiss me with a 10-foot lip. You know what I thought we should do? I said the idea. Sexuality Gay test. sex. I, I, those go hand in hand, in my, in my opinion. <laughs> what should we do? Uh, a sexuality test. One of those like online ones where it tells you where you lie. Oh, yeah. Okay. I don't know. I don't know what to look up or what to do, or if that's something we should have in the podcast or not. We could do personality tests. I'm like an IBNR or something like that. I don't remember. I forget what I am. I feel like my mood also changes too. A lot of the questions I'm like sometimes. <laughs> it depends on my mood, mm-hmm, you know. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So I I don't know about you. This might be a normal human thing. I'm so much more autistic when tired. Thoughts. Because you're putting us of a wall up. Your facade you runs short. Hmm? Oh, my facade runs short. You have a shallow facade. Why? 
<clears throat> Listen to Brene Brown, dude. <clears throat> Bernie Mac, you gotta enter your, you gotta enter your arena and be full of you. You know, what fucking hippie shit are you listening to? Brene Brown. Who's Brene Brown? Is that a guy? She's or a like girl? a psychologist that studies shame. Shame? Yeah. Shane Dawson? <laughs> yeah, she's a psychiatrist. She's Shane Dawson's psychiatrist. <laughs> He'd be the psychiatrist, bro. Honestly, yeah. Yeah, yeah. He uh, recently, does he have kids um, now? I think he does. I think he do. I think, and he just he just showed their face and their full names online. That was pretty sick. That's great. I think. <clears throat> I think to my the best of my ability, I don't. If I have a kid, I'm going to try to keep it as offline as possible. Me too. Despite me being constantly online. Well, I, the thing is, you want to balance like. Um, a social online like I want I don't I wouldn't want my child to experience Twitter especially what it is now which is a, a bunch of porn ads all the time oh my you know god I mean? are you getting those too mm -hmm. I, have you seen I my tweet myself, about that oh yeah yeah you did yeah I, I think to myself I'm like am I really am I this horny and I'm like no I, I don't do anything I don't like I don't it's just all the advertisers left all, all those yeah. ads for all those naked women that we're seeing we all have like two likes. Yep, they're not real. I know. I wish they were. This whole thing was like, bro, we're gonna remove all the bots, and now I get nothing but bots. You know? Yeah, yeah literally. Before, Twitter bots would just be like under a reply somewhere. You know? Yeah. They would just be annoying. Now, now they're, they're like everything. adding me. <laughs> now they're the yeah. ads. I'll open up Twitter at work. And I can't do. I, I have to be careful now. I mean, I always have to be careful. Let's be real. But like now, when I scroll, it's almost guaranteed three of the things I'll see will be like someone getting fucked. You know. I'm sorry, Marsala. I don't have any Bitcoin to put in your pussy. What do you want me to say? What do you want me to do, Marsala? Fucking Marsala. Um, isn't that your mom's moment, name? That's my mom's name is still Kelly. Um, no. So I wouldn't. Want, I wouldn't definitely wouldn't want my kid to see Twitter. Like. It's both from my perspective and the perspective of the kid. Like, I wouldn't want to, if I ever had a following, I wouldn't want to put my kid online for my benefit. And vice versa, I wouldn't want the kid to be put put online to their detriment. That 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 being Twitter, that being. I was chronically online as a kid, you know. We do. I went out there and I had a life. But when I was at home on the internet, I was just finding people like doing crazy shit, man. I think yeah. honestly, in my life, there was a specific moment that I can remember internet the internet changing, and it's when I saw the Bud Dwyer suicide on Facebook. And that's when oh, things like, started getting censored, and my like in my brain, that's that's like the turning point. I remember when I first got an Xbox, and I got Halo Three. My parents were like, "You can play this game, just don't go online. Like, don't talk to people online. Don't do matchmaking." And of course, the first thing I did was hop in matchmaking. You know? Oh yeah. Bro, lucky fucking you. I didn't have internet on my... They, I had to, they had to buy me the $30 dongle thingy. The $30 little buggy thing you in the back of the... a $30 Epstein dongle? What the hell? I bought the little Epstein dongle, dongle with the little two antennae. <laughs> and the tail. <laughs> like 30 bucks. They, I don't... I'm a boy. No 30 bucks in my wallet. So they had to buy it for me. And they <laughs> bought it for one of my birthdays. And then you had to have Xbox fucking gold. I don't know, how am I going to convince well, them after spending $30? How am I going to convince them to spend $12 or whatever it was a month? It was also my dad's Xbox. He just made me an account. Oh, you're a lucky bitch. And I got bitch. Halo 3. You're a lucky bitch. My, my dad, the only time I've ever played games with my dad was fucking one time. He wanted to play the original Mario Brothers with me. One time. My, my, wife. Dad's, my dad's in VR over there. Right now? Yeah. He's told me, he said, um, he's thinking about getting the new Meta Quest. Hey, Greg. I mean, he, he asked me today if I wanted his old one, if he got it. Dude, we could play VR chat together. Do you want to? Oh, absolutely. I could bring you right through VR chat. It'd be funny. How much does VR chat cost? Free. Sweet. What else Pretty can we good. do in VR? VR chat is also, you can just play in desktop mode. I don't have to bring you in VR to show you But now I could be in VR. So VR chat is a lot different, is a, is a shadow of what it once was. 
when I was, <clears throat> so I met Alexis on VRChat. I was a big VRChat nerd. I was following the Twitch meta um, pretty heavily when everybody was playing VRChat on Twitch in like 2017, or <laughs> early 2018. Yeah. I met the VR chat big boys is what I used to call them. The people that were your the, wife, the big, the big streamers, yeah, the big streamers on VR chat. Right. And then I met Alexis and then I stopped playing VR chat because that game is for virgins. Um, Do you want to play with me? Yeah, that's why that's why I want to play with you. Is it's for virgins. The hell? But it is, a, but it is, what it was, was a bunch of people having fun shooting shit, doing shit. Now it's just <laughs> shut the fuck up, Zachary. I'm shut trying, the fuck up. I'm talking, Zachary. I'm trying, I'm talking, man. dude. I'm, I'm talking. dying. It's getting worse um, as time is going on. And now it's just 15-year-olds standing in front of mirrors. That's all I was going to say. It's just 15-year-olds in furry outfits. Out, fur, furry outfits sitting in front of mirrors. It's so nothing, you know. McDonald's did not help me. You, you sounded great for like five minutes. Yeah. I'm getting all congested again. Don't think about it and you won't. I'm going to get another cough drop. I miss you. That'll be two seconds. I miss you. I miss you too. I'm going to say this episode's already a lot of pausing. Ah. Pause. Pause. Ah. I got to bend over to get that cough drop. Okay, how are you feeling about <clears throat> fat ass, fat ass noodle arms? Your legs probably look like a bunch of stilts <clears throat> mashed together. <sighs> you good? Can you breathe? I don't appreciate you saying that about me when I've been self conscious about. My body. Yeah? Let's talk about that more. What part are you no. most self-conscious about? In there? <laughs> yeah. What's, what's in there to make you feel self-conscious? Boogers. There's a little, a little booger. Is that all it is? Just some boogers? I, you know, I saw Billy and Mandy and I saw the boogeyman and I thought he, I thought it had something to do with boogers. And I, cause I didn't know, you, you know, you pull boogies out of What is the boogeyman? Where did that come from? Nobody knows. Probably Is that probably, real? No one knows? Yeah, nobody knows where the boogeyman came from. How the hell are you supposed to know where the boogeyman came from? Cotton Jamie, can you look that up? Look that up? Okay. He's looking it up. Who? Jamie. Oh, Jamie, pull it up. What are you doing? Bro, you're moving around. I'm getting sturdy. Hold on. Do I look do I look small in my room when I'm standing all the way to the at the at the wall? Is this good? That's great. Sweet. Do I look small in my room when I'm standing against the wall? You look small always. <laughs> just you think I'm small? You're, you're three like inches taller one, than me. Dude. You can't even say that, dude. You, you're you're three like three inches three taller. One. Not even, bro. Not fucking even. You know, are you over Starfield yet? Yeah, I mean, I beat it. I beat it like one and a quarter time. Why only at one and a quarter? You know how the ending, you know how Starfield ends, right? No. Okay. Spoiler alert for anyone watching that wants to play Starfield. The whole purpose of Starfield is you get reborn at the end. So like, Like, it is corny. It is corny, but like, you know, the starborn in the game, which are like at, on your first playthrough are like these mysterious beings that come and try to kill you, right? They're like, you know, you're going through the game like normal and then all of a sudden, boom, starborn and it's like a boss fight. And you're like, what the hell is this? Turns wait, out. Who, wait, what is like, the star? Wait, explain the starborn. It is a person or it is a set of people. Well, I'm getting there. All right. So like on your first playthrough, you don't know. Like there's, there's these mysterious beings that pop in and out of existence every time you try to take the artifacts so like there's all these artifacts scattered throughout the universe right and you're trying to find them they have like this seemingly mystic ability uh eventually they start giving you like superpowers and the more you get them the more powerful you are but the later on in the game you progress more and more star born start to show up and attack you at the end of the game what you realize is the star born are people who have collected all the artifacts and have pieced them together and have found this like weird version of like immortality. And they can like go to different multiverses to collect even more artifacts to get even more powerful. 
And so the game ends by allowing you to restart the game as yourself in New Game Plus, but it's like a part of the story. So like once you beat the full storyline once, you get like a fancy suit and a fancy spaceship, and you get to keep all your powers and keep progressing to become even more and even more and even more powerful. So the game is literally built for you to beat it like 20 times. Dude, imagine maxing out that account. Fuck, that would suck ass. I know. Well, when I was playing through it the first time, I was like, how the fuck do people progress through this, right? Because I would, like, grind out a bunch of shit, and I would only get, like, a few skills. And there's, like, a gigantic skill tree, right? And I'm like, how are you supposed to... Because, like, when I play Fallout, right, like, you don't get everything, but by the time I beat the game, I have, like, more than half of all the skills and shit in the game. So, like... You know, I was like, how is this even possible? And then they restart the game and it's like, you get to do it again. And I'm like, oh, they want me to do this shit over and over again. Mm-hmm, so mm-hmm. when I say I beat it like a one and a quarter time, I mean, I beat the playthrough once and then I beat like another quarter of the game after Dude, that. It's the same. It's the same the main Star story. It's, it's not like. It's slightly altered. So like, you know, when when you show back up to the people you originally meet at the beginning, instead of being like, oh, what are these things? Like you have the option of being like. I'm a starboard. And they're like, what the fuck does that mean? And you can like, you know, there, there's other okay. dialogue options. You, you know what I mean? That. Like, yeah, yeah. like it, it adds extra shit. Plus Starfield is a game too, where like, like the main story is the same every time. Yes. But like, there's like a trillion little side quest things you can go do and other systems right. you can go see. So like, yeah. you know, your playthrough shouldn't be the same a second time as well too. I don't know how I feel about it because on one hand it is a cop out. You know what I mean? To be like, keep playing the story, keep playing the story, keep playing the story. But on the other hand, too, like it's kind of interesting, and like it, when you do play it again, it, it isn't the same, you know. So, oh no, yeah, I mean, it, I mean, it sounds <clears throat> that sounds like a cool concept. I don't know if I would think how many hours did you sink into the first playthrough? Uh, well, my Xbox app show me if I pull it up. Oh, because I I don't know how many hours I could sink in a game that repeats itself. I played Fate, which is an old old game, and it was the same idea where. You start anew, and as soon as I was given the option to start anew, and you get to keep like I got to keep one like special item, I was just like I don't I don't give a fuck about this anymore. I do not give a shit about this game anymore. How do I look at my library? You know what the coolest concept is though in gaming is what Saints Row did from Saints Row Three to Saints Row Four, where you could keep your cut your your customized character. Oh yeah, I like that, that. shit. Was so cool. Fate had that too. That's why I thought about it. That is one of the coolest concepts in any. <clears throat> in any in any game, I, I I think you could do that also in Mass Effect. Am I mistaken? I haven't I've never played Mass Effect, so I don't know. When I was a kid, I uh, I had a friend named Envious Eclipse on Xbox. Dude, you doxed him. The hell? Yeah, and that was his first and last name. I was he was sixteen and I was thirteen, and I thought he was so cool. And he would call me Homo Code. Why did you do that? Because my 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 username was Home Code. And it was actually funny enough. Home, it was home code and then the code to my security system by my old house. Why did I do that? Oh. <laughs> okay. I have logged on Starfield one day, 12 hours, and 32 minutes. Oh, that's not bad. That's like, what? Yeah, 30 something hours. That's not, that's not bad at all. Yeah. But you said one day, how many hours? 12 hours? 12. One day, 12 yeah. hours. That's not bad at all. That's, that's so not, one that's and a half hard. days. I was thinking like if it was like a 70 hour main campaign and doing it, doing that and then doing like that again, I just can't imagine it. Yeah. Um, but I want to bring but again, this up it's, to you. It's designed to try to sidetrack you, right? Right. Like yeah, it's designed for you to be like, Ooh, shiny new thing. And then you're on a right. five hour other quest. But right. I was exactly. just, especially like 10 hours into the, into the game. I was like, all right, I'm going to beat the fucking game. You know? Yeah. Yep. No, I get you. Are you, you're not, are you, you're not an RPG guy. I would say. I can be, but the issue is, is I'll never beat them. Like if I don't dedicate myself to like committing to yeah. the main quest, I'll never beat it. I'm That's why I wanted to commit myself. I like RPGs a lot. Like I, I mean, I play Pokemon, <laughs> um, <laughs> but I, it is tough for me to play any game to completion and give a fuck, you know, to the, to, towards the end. It's tough for me to play anyone to completion. I, I, we're going to have a lot of fun on, the, on my birthday then. Um, okay, but I wanted to bring this up to you. These are the Steam we're Awards. Getting, we're getting uh, funnier by the episode. 
We're getting we only make jokes about us having sex on my birthday every episode, multiple times an episode. Yeah. So I wanted to talk about the Steam Awards a little bit here. Ooh. So the Steam Awards, as you can probably guess, are, are <laughs> the uh, are awards for games on the online market PC online marketplace Steam. So well, it I have has any of them. I don't know. It has um, it has uh, a category such as Labor of Love Award, Best Game on Steam Deck Award, Better with Friends Award, Outstanding Visual Style Award, blah, 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 blah. Okay? And I wanted to get your takes on any ones that you know of, because I'm going to give my takes as well. But I'm, okay. I, I, I have a, I don't like this here as far as the results. And it's because I haven't played pretty much any of these games. But I, I'm not a big fan of these results. So I am a, I am a fan of this result. Game of the uh, game of the year. Sorry to start off big is Baldur's Gate three. I'm sure you've heard about it. Incredible game. I mean, it was game of the year pretty much fucking everywhere. Have you heard of Baldur's Gate? I assume so. Uh, I feel like I've heard the name. It's uh, it's like a super um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? It's it's super like ahead of its time. It's an RPG like a Dungeons and Dragons RPG. Definitely one that you oh. would not want to play. No, I thought I saw a clip of it that looked kind of cool. It is a really cool game, but it, it is way too long for your or my attention span, to be honest. I need I would need a friend or three to play it Whoa, with. Oh, GTA 5 Online just added wildlife photography. Visit the Los Santos Tourist Board in Blaine County and photograph three different animals per day for Nuke Daily Collectibles. Nuke? <laughs> yeah. Say Nuke Daily Collectibles? I put in as a joke at work today. I, I'm putting. I was putting together a montage edit for something I can't talk about right now. Um, but uh, <laughs> I put in as a joke before I submitted it a green screen intervention quick scope from Modern Warfare Two mm-hmm. over top of it. There was like a really famous person in this interview, and I like in this montage just like quick scoped him. It's quick. I thought it was him. funny. Yeah. Can, is that staying in? No. <laughs> no, so. it's not. Uh, VR Game of the Year is Labyrinthy. Never heard of it. Don't care. Labor of Love Award is Red Dead 2. That's still winning awards? Didn't that come out like two years ago? Yeah. I'm not. It came out a while ago. I'm not sure why that won Labor of Love Award. I liked that game. Oh, I've it's been, it's been one of the better games that have ever came out. I, don't, I haven't. I haven't. <laughs> camp- very much i played mostly multiplayer but i liked what that's playing. the worst part about the game right i but I, but i i say that because i did like it still so i'm saying that it, there is quality there it's just weird that it's in the 20 maybe have the maybe pc it was just, people modded that out yet have the pc people made red dead online good no because rockstar anti-cheats all that shit you can't really have too much fun Fuck with that shit dude for a lot of it i mean there's 5m for gta but it's it's just different um I just thought that was interesting. I I makes I I do want to play, go back and play Red Dead One, but I don't, it hasn't come out on PC yet, which is crazy to me because it came out on fucking it's Switch. Been a long time since I played that. I want to I want to play it again. I played it when I was a kid. What about really Red Dead Revolver? I do own that on Steam. Have you ever played like it? it? I do like oh, it. Yeah. Okay. It's, it's it's a good one. Um, and I'm then gonna spin best- my wheel on GTA Online. I'm gonna see what I get. Your wheel? Are you playing? Are you playing GTA you, Online right now? If you go to the casino, you get to. Spin oh, I know, a wheel I know the casino you're talking about. Yeah, no, I know. I have you're a spinning your wheel right casino. now. You're not going to get a car. You're not going to get the car, pussy. I know you're not. I got RP. Yeah, figure figured. I have plenty of those cars, by the way. I have like ten of them. Yeah, Mike figured out a way. I don't know. I don't think it was that, but he figured out a way for one mission where you got to like take a car to your base. That you can just dupe that car a bunch of times and just make infinite money from it. It's pretty dope. <laughs> what I used to do when I worked from home. I know I'm going to keep interrupting you was I would go um, bet max bet on like the worst odds horses or the best. You Mm -hmm. know what I mean? The longest shot Mm -hmm. odds horses. And if I didn't win, there was a gap where you could just force quit the game and it just wouldn't register as you doing that. bet. That's so based. And I, I would literally be taking phone calls at home all day, like for eight hours straight, just force quitting horse bets until I won. (laughs) That's so based. That's so fucking based. Um, I'm happy that you know how to game the system. That's probably illegal. I don't think they do that anymore. I think with the new version, you can. But Best game on Steam Deck Award went to Hogwarts Legacy. Have you heard anything about that game? I've heard lots of things about it. I'm just not interested in Harry Potter. It's not even a I'm statement on trans people. 
I'm just not, not into either. Harry Potter. The the but the finalists were Rotato, never played it, Diablo Four, and out, out the Outlast Trials and Dredge. I feel like there are a lot of games that could have gone in that list that aren't. I know that no, this means nothing to you. The Better with Friends Award goes to Lethal Company. I'm sure you've seen yeah, gameplay of that on TikTok. It. Yeah. I really, um, I really don't know much about it. I just know that that's a popular game. Me neither. I really want to get a, 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 a and you are obviously invited. I really want to get like a, a night because you can do uh, like eight player lobbies with a modded server. I really want to just get an eight player lobby going with it. Just, there's a bunch of people fucking around. I think that'd be a lot of fun. Depending um, on the day, so sure. Lethal Company. Outstanding visual style. Okay, I'm going to ask you. You know, you're familiar with most of the, uh, no, only two of these games, actually. If you could, in your brain, think of a game that had outstanding visual style in 2023, what game would you think? It does it have to come out in 2023? I think so. Red Dead made it. Oh, uh, anyways. I don't even know Atom- many games that came out. Atomic Heart. Oh. I feel like that game did have interesting character uh cre- yeah it had uh, those metal bitches yeah but it looked i and i'm sorry cuz the game i do want to play the game it doesn't it looks super generic i have a friend that beat it and said he liked it but i have heard from other people it is kind of like a g- g- generic fps which is fine but i like i gen- i like generic shooters that doesn't bother me at all there hasn't I, been I just, like a linear fps game in a while though that's been good yeah so yeah that's true I want to play. Oh, what was that game where you can go? You can go. You can go back in time. And you can rewind, and it was like a. It was marketed hugely, and it wasn't that good. Uh, oh, I, it's like it's like on the tip of my tongue. I know what you're talking yeah, about. You know the game. It's like a black lady versus a white dude. Like the black, black lady. lady. Is, yeah, there's the black lady who's like the the bad guy or whatever. Or, or maybe whoa, it's the whoa, multiplayer whoa. I'm thinking of. I but the, I. I what is it fucking called? Replay, rewind, re. Damn, I don't remember what it's called. That's so that's so unsatisfying. I feel like this is on the tip of my tongue. I feel like I played this this game, whatever it was. I gotta look it up. I'm gonna get bothered. Death loop. Singularity does come up. Death loop. Death loop. That's what I was talking about. I don't know if you're talking about the same one. Oh, I, I wanted want, to play this. I wanted to play it too. Apparently it's not that good. Oh, that I'd sucks. still play it, but I'm not gonna pay full price for it for sure. Um most okay this is the most contentious winner it's a game that we have talked about most innovative gameplay out of all the games starfield how how is it it, starfield it's yes how bethesda paid them a lot of money probably that's crazy starfield is the least innovative game this year and i i don't i don't have any that's not i'm not dissing starfield in any like particular way i'm sure it's, i'm sure it's fine but it's it's so similar to pri- pri- previous <laughs> games and everybody talks about how similar it is it's just a bethesda game that also ripped off no man's sky but i think that also the finalists were not very good i have not heard of any of these games your only move is hustle shadows of doubt contraband police and then Remnant 2, which Remnant 2 is not very popular, but it is a, a good game, I guess. So that bothers me. That I, that bothers me a lot, but whatever. Uh, best game you suck at award, Sifu. I don't know if you've heard of it. It's like a, no. a little like, it's like a, I don't know. Samurai Sounds like a nickname you'd give me. It's, it's, a pretty, it's a pretty tough game. I've heard Overwatch 2 made made the cut for finalists, which is crazy to me. Yeah, it did not come out in 2023. I, I had a, th- dude, I had a thought. It came out on Steam in 2023. I don't know about oh. I don't know about it anywhere else. But I just thought, I, had, I had a thought the other day while I was watching I was watching old videos of ours. I think if you had a six man and you were like, if you really enjoyed Overwatch one and you had a six man team going. To play Overwatch One and every night, every you know, every Friday night, you'd be playing a, a Overwatch One. You got to kick someone out when Overwatch Two comes out. Oh yeah, I think Ethan isn't has that, that problem. Isn't that crazy? That's nuts to me. I, like, well, I they were having I, I mean, team comp I, I, issues, if I remember correctly. 
Well, I, I thought about, I thought about that before, but I didn't like think like who, I I can't imagine being the person that get, I would be. I would be to be frank, but I can't imagine the play I, Overwatch and I kicked you out. I'm saying, dude, we we actually dude, back I, in my 2016, Xbox joystick is falling apart. Oh my Can god! You see it? Yeah, shake it. Ah, it's solid. No, it's the joystick. I, I'm troubling the focus on it, but the joystick right here is like broken. It's like falling apart. Are you just too hard on the? Are you just go like a little bit? Crazy I think so. It's an older controller. Damn, dude. Zach, I I, I got to tell you, um, uh, two things. One, I have a controller that's better than that controller. Uh, fuck if you. you need a recommendation. Uh, second thing is I just bought a, I finally bought a, a little Mayflash device, which converts any controller into any console. A what? It's called Mayflash as the brand. So if I plug in, if I plug in a, a, a PS3, the PS5, a PS5 haptics con- work, I don't, probably not. I, if okay, I plug well, in my there's PS5, no point for me because the Xbox controller is better ergonomically for me. I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that. Don't worry. Worry not, my little brother. I'm saying I can plug in my PS5 controller to my Switch. Would might be a little bit fun. I'm also saying uh you uh the everybody that's tried this controller that I know prefers it over any other controller they've used. So maybe birthday gift. Big gifts? salesman. Should we get our affiliate code? For the 8-Bit Doe Ultimate? I, I, I love that. I love the 8-Bit Doe Ultimate. It is, it, I, I stand at the 8-Bit Doe Ultimate. Um, sorry, what was I saying? Oh, I, my Ed, Evan had a buddy in college. I let Evan borrow my Wii U in college so he could play. <laughs> he had a buddy in college that would play it, play it as well on a different account. And I don't know what this fucker was doing. All of my Wii U controllers, are the, the sticks fucking died. He would break them all. Just by like, I don't know if you're just like pushing too hard or what, but they they would all just droop. Ow. Yeah, I've had this controller like since I bought my Series X, so it's probably due for an upgrade anyways, or an update yeah, anyways. Or whatever. Um, it's kind of expensive. Those are kind of expensive now. They're super expensive. They're um, okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. Um, going back to this, best soundtrack goes to The Last of Us Part 1. It finally wow. hits Steam, so it, it, it counts. Which Barely. I will give it to I will give it to The Last of Us, but that I can't, it's hard to say because there's games like Hi-Fi Rush, which has a I think a great soundtrack. I only I haven't played the game. I only listened to the soundtrack. Pizza Tower, pretty good soundtrack, better gameplay. And Persona Five Tactica. Persona is known for having really good music, so it's very surprising The Last of Us won this. But people hate anime. Outstanding, outstanding story. There's also game too many Persona games. Yeah, in Persona Five is like it's fucking spreading shit so thin. Like, there's so many different Persona Five, different whatever's. Um, Outstanding story, rich game award, Baldur's Gate, and then sit back and relax game. Dave the Diver. Have you heard of this game? No. Apparently, it's really, really good. I don't know if it's on anything but PC, but apparently, it's really, really good. And I think that you should uh, look into it because the main character looks like you. Wait, what is it called? Dave the Diver. Oh, Dave the Diver. Yeah. That does not look like me. That looks like you. <laughs> Bro, the, the guy that it looks like me, you if you ate a burger. The guy that called me the the Plants vs. Zombies guy is so fucking uh, funny to me. That makes me laugh so hard. Dave the <sighs> Diver in real life. Do web P files work on Discord? Yes, they do. Uh-huh. Dave the Diver in real life. <laughs> that will be me in a few years. Yeah. Yeah, so I just thought those those specific... I mean, like, what, what is your game of the year 2023? I guess I should ask. Have I played any new new game aside from Starfield? It doesn't have to be a game that released in 2023. It's just a game that you played and you enjoyed the most in 2023. Okay, everyone. Welcome to the Zachary Marshall Game Awards of 2023. Go for uh, it. Award for the uh, most time played. It goes to Madden 2024. It wins Game of the Year. Uh, and second place comes in Starfield. <laughs> and third are those, are those, place... 
there are no games played in third. It's Halo Infinite again, maybe. What about Fantasy Star Universe? The Fantasy Star Online or Universe or whatever it is. Yep. Number third. Number third. Number third. I don't know. I don't, I'm going to put up Steam right now. Here. I don't know what mine. I'll open be. up my my Xbox library right now. Why not? Oh, Uno. I'll Tem-tem play Uno might sometimes. Unironically, Tempted might take it. Let me look at my games. I have Call of the Wild, The Angler. The I played angler. some chivalry. I played some chivalry too. I played some city skylines. I played a little bit of Dead Island too, but I didn't beat it. GTA Online. I played a little bit of Fallout New Vegas. Payday Three. I played for like a week and then we stopped. Yeah. And I That's got in a totally later. accurate battle simulator for like a month. That's pretty good. That's it. Oh, I got a whole list. So um, I'm sure you I got do. So- I got Sonic Frontiers. Sonic Frontiers was pretty good. People, people shit on it more than it deserves. I think that was from Gen. This is all in January. Uh, Sonic Frontiers is pretty good. People shit on it a lot. Um, it's pretty good for a Sonic game. Sonic games are normally shit. We got a little Gator game. I only played like a few. I, I don't know how long. I played fifty six minutes of it. It's just like a cute little third person slashy game. Tales of Arise, uh, pretty good. Too long. Dying Light Two doesn't work. Left for Dead 2, banger, banging. Still to this day. Yep, yes, sir. Yu-Gi-Oh! Legacy of the Duelist. Uh, pretty good. Better ones out now. I've heard that game Talos, exists. The, the Talos Principle. Very good. It's a, it's a, it's a, um, what do you call it? Um, puzzle game. You have to have a big brain for it. Sea of Thieves for March. Interesting. Good game. Uh, is that all I played in March? Oh my god, that's pretty much all I played in March. Uh, April, I played Destiny 2 for a little bit. Uh, best gunplay of any game. Destiny 2 has the best gunplay of any game there is. Period. There's no better game as far as the feel of jumping around and shooting than Destiny 2. And it has, and Bungie has to fuck it in the ass every goddamn year. We were, dude, I, I thought when Bungie and Activision went their separate ways with Destiny 2, I was like, this is a dub, dude. This is a shoe in for one of the best games that can happen. And they Aren't they working on a new it. game right now? I don't know. They're Maybe working they on like a be. reboot of Marathon or something? Oh, yeah, they are. Yep, yep. It looks all right. I mean, I'm probably going to play Has it. Has there been any more gameplay? No, I haven't talked about it since. Um, Destiny 2 fucking kill me because it is so good but so bad <laughs> monster hunter world that was all right oh, i played teenage mutant ninja turtle shredders revenge that's a good game i've heard it was fun uh, i f- finished chrono trigger chrono trigger is really good uh, i've heard for great things point. it's such a good game it's a good it's a very very story rich game for for being an any snes game world 34 Octopath traveler also very story rich like it like it much less holy shit um june i didn't play anything july battle bit remastered i feel like i've heard of that too it was the it's we talked about it before it's the it's like fucking 128 versus 128 or whatever uh oh, battlefield like yes we have talked game. about it yeah pretty good i didn't play enough of it and I, nobody played it with me so i gave up we can uh, play. golf with your friends fire game golf with your friends is so fucking good it's just golf with the boys Hanging, dude. If you can get like five or six friends playing golf and you can put the collision on, so fucking good. Final Fantasy 14 online. Nobody has enough time for this game. I have 183.1 hours in it. I'm going to play probably for 10 hours for the rest of my life. It's all right. Uh, Bread and Fred is too hard. Alexis and I tried it and we got fucked in the ass. Universe Income 2. I'd like to see that. Universe Income 2, I got sex immediately. I got fucked immediately in <laughs> Universe Income 2. I have six minutes in the game. It says, I don't believe this because I've definitely gotten fucked more than once. Um, but what you do with that game is you you get, you get you are flying, you do a little puzzle, <laughs> get railed, and you can either... You can, you can either take the, take, the, take the fuck or get raped. Are you sure you're going to be saying that? Yep. Simpson sit and run. Fire. Do I have to even say? It is so good. It is such I, a good game. 
I played my Vegas slots on my phone. There you go. My Vegas slots. Does the um, McDonald's app count as a video game? Yes. Well, I played some of that. You played that a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Mega Man Battle Network Legacy Collection Volume 1. I've only played the first Mega Man almost to completion. 40 hours in the game. I, I haven't played it since September. MCC. Do I even have to say anything? I have 451 hours in that game. Banging. My Hero Ultra Rumble. All right. Magic Gathering Arena. All right. Party Animals. Kind of fire. You want to just Infinite, say what wins? <laughs> no. Ten Time Showdown. Not great. Battlefield 1. Eh. Coromon. Eh. Grounded. It's okay. Uh, ukulele. Bad. Ukulele Impossible Air. Good. Nickelodeon Soul Brawl. Good. Wallpaper Engine. Good. <laughs> Elden Ring. Fantastic. Lego Star Wars Skywalker Saga. Pretty good. Naruto Taboruto Shinobi Striker. All right. Kingdoms Reborn. Pretty good. Guild Wars 2. Pretty good. Trine 5. Very good. Co- Call of Duty Black Ops 3. Pretty good. Temtem. Incredible. Retro work is all my... Yeah, I would say Temtem is number one for me. I think Temtem is my... <laughs> you're really fucking my Bro's vibe. a Temtem fan. I'm sorry, bro. I'm like... It, like... I feel like this is a normal thing with getting sick where like the mornings really suck and the nights really suck. Like during the day when your body's like mid going through it, it's like you can kind of clear yourself up enough to like be functioning. But then like waking up all that mucus and shit's just been like coating your throat yeah. and you couldn't help it. And then like at nighttime, it's like as your body starts like wearing down a little bit, it just is like, no, you're going to be congested no matter what, you know? Yeah, bro. I, I mean, I had... I had COVID and that that was what I was experiencing. It was a lot of throat, a lot of a lot of congestion, a lot of fever chills. I get it. I get it, man. Yeah. Have you seen Sheep Sheed from Dave the Diver Wiki? I've not seen nope. We're selling Dave the David the Diver thing? No, I have not seen Sheep Sheed. You gotta see this, dude. Are you saying I'll click that right now? No, I was just looking at him. He's a rank five. Wait, he's a rank five? Dude, I'm gonna get in the Dave the Diver lore. I, I hope that I hope because remember you said you said you played Piku Niku this year or whatever. You were like, oh yeah, I oh I did play Piku Niku as well too. Yeah, I beat it. I think it's, it's gonna be the it's gonna be the Dave the Diver too. You're just gonna play Dave the Diver now. Is Dave the Diver soundtrack good for shorts? Is it kind of banger? Shorts I couldn't music? tell you. I don't know what kind of gameplay Dave the Diver even has. We should check out this Hoff Brow House in Cleveland, Ohio. It's like a German food restaurant. Want to Back go up the there? Um, it's by a Greyhound yeah, bus station. In the bus station? By Becky's? By Becky's? And Moe's Tavern? Is that a Simpsons themed tavern? It might be. That'd be hilarious if it was. Yeah, yeah. That would be fucking hilarious. They do have it? a little Moe's Tavern sign. They do have a way to Moe's Tower sign. Why are you wow. talking like that, dude? Why are you talking like that? Because my body's. Killing and my me. My body's killing me sadly. Is that what you're saying to yourself? Sadly. My body. My body's killing me sadly. Did you just read your script out loud? My body's Excuse killing me, me in bracket sadly. And you read Excuse the sadly. Me. Part you should not be spoiling my script right now. My script actually starts with Welcome to Acula Lake North. Today we're going to be oh, fighting a man. I feel bad. I'm not delivering good content to the fans. You feel bad to your fans. Why do you talk like that? I mean, your fans. I have fans in my house. Go. Don't know what I'm doing. I have have only fans, dude. I have only fans. Only one fan in my house. Help me. That's my mom, bro. (gasps) What? Your mom has only fans? (laughs) Cha-ching, bro. End episode. We're back at it. Um, What's your mom's name? Marsha or whatever? (laughs) It's my aunt. Oh wow, fuck! She's an OnlyFans though, for sure, right? Auntie Marsha, you have to ask her. Why? Well, she would know. I wouldn't. You ask. Ask for your aunt to OnlyFans. What do you mean? Uh, How you feeling, Zach? Are you are, are you are you keeping up? No, not really. How, how's your nose? Clogged. Yeah. When was the last time you clogged the toilet? I can tell you when the next time I will be. When is that? January 27th. Mm. Wait. You're going to come into my what house. The? You're going to come into my house. You're going to shake my hand after not washing your hands from after coming off the plane. You're going to get me sick. 
You're going to walk down into my toilet. You're going to take a poop. You're going to turn on the bidet. You're going to put on the, turn on the bidet. You're going to realize that the bidet water is too cold because it's in the cold, it's in the cold weather. Your asshole is going to get all cold and he's going to get all numb. And then that's when I'm going to take advantage of that little shit. Go wah, 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 wah with my tongue. You can, Go ahead. You can catch a fried egg jellyfish in Dave the Diver. Catch a fried one? A fried egg jellyfish. Rank two. Oh, I got, a, I got an email. You're so fucking dumb for that bit. I don't, I don't know who put you up for that bit. That was so stupid. <laughs> that was me. No, you saw, someone told you to, to say no. that for sure. No, you're, you, someone called you, said, Zach, please not on a the funny podcast. Bit. Please on the podcast, just say every notification you get on your phone. And you're like, all right. All right, Ethan. No. All right, Ben. All right, Ben, smarter Ben. No, I would never do something like that to you. But also, I genuinely I, didn't do that. You're... Your foul mouth is going to give me diarrhea. Yeah, you fucking retard. <laughs> <laughs> fucking retarded diarrhea, dude. <laughs> yeah, so the steam awards are pretty crazy. Isn't it crazy how like Lizzo got canceled for saying the word spaz? And I'm fully employed on a, on a, a YouTube <laughs> video get, getting bleeped out, I'm sure, for saying the word retard. So... <laughs> I have a I have an opinion on that. I feel like if she didn't apologize, she wouldn't have gotten canceled. She got canceled because she apologized for it because I, she thought I feel she was the same get canceled. I feel like she bought into it. I feel like um she was trying to be nice. Oh wait, but wasn't but no, but she she uh, she bounced back from that. She got like canceled canceled for like being mean to people, right? By being like yeah, an she, Ellen. I th- I think so. I think she I think she's shit. <laughs> Dude, you should sure. see how bad quality you look on my screen right now. I'm going to take a picture of this. I'm so excited. Maybe I can, maybe I can drape it. Oh my God. <laughs> Do I sound all right? Yeah, you sound perfectly fine. Red banded <laughs> lobster. Is that your next bit? Is you're going to talk about the red banded lobster? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, of course not. <laughs> the hell? You just open a bunch of tabs to just randomly bring up fucking Dave the Diver fish? I would never. I would never do I'll that see to how you. you look. I'll show you how you look on, on my side. Why are you why are you, why are you cheeked up, dude? Wait, not that's not the right word. Why why are you cheek the cheek, bro? Why what's going on here? Why are you, why are you smiling? Why are you, why are you smiling? Quit the smile. I kind of got to use the bathroom. You got to poop? Maybe. Are we going to take poop break number two? Let me use the restroom. I will come back with a bit. I will come back with a fire bit to end the show on. I promise you. Okay. If you, sure, if you want. It's up to you. I'll. I'll I'll come up with something. I promise you, okay? Sure. Yeah. Do what you want to do. Why do you what hate you me? Do? I gotta go. Why do you hate me? All right. Don't poop here. Go go poop. Do you take your poop break over there? <laughs> I gotta tell me why you I'll hate me first. I think you gotta go that way. I I okay, dude. I hate you. I just dude, I it's whenever whenever you show your teeth, I see your bra- uh, the brace behind your front teeth, bro. I'm sorry. Okay. I just gotta yeah, that's all it's all it is. That's all it is. I'm sorry, dude. I'm sorry. <laughs> Bro, you didn't answer me. Oh my god, it's so much. No, you didn't answer my phone call. Did you call me? Yeah, I did. You didn't. I didn't get a call. Why does it say if I go up to my recents? I called. There's like real phone numbers in here. I was going to show up, but there's real phone numbers below this call history. I definitely did call you. Did you call my old number? Do you have a new number? Yeah, you know my new number. No, I don't. You texted my new number a few days ago. You called the wrong number, bro. Hold on. You called, you called the number wrong number, bro. No, it's the only Ben Paquette in my phone. I meant to call you in the bathroom and be like, oh, I need ideas to come back to with as a bit and you're gonna put me on speakerphone now all i have is rank toothpaste and i'm in my cunt era was the only two things i wrote down okay give me give me the description of both please well ranking toothpaste is self-explanatory sense dines number one crest is number two not because it's good because it's just cheap and then everything else is below it what about colgate I mean, it's fine. 
The crest is cheaper and sensitized better. All of them are better. just fine. They're not, they're no, none of them are good. <laughs> you, you, are you it's saying be toothpaste a, isn't good? What toothpaste do you use, bitch? I don't, I don't use toothpaste, clearly. Apparently not. He's got wonky teeth. And then I'm in my cunt era. I was going to come back and act all sassy. You had to write it down before you did it, though, because if you didn't write it down, that'd be a that big a problem. Bit. It was a bit. I was coming okay. up with bit ideas. Right. Be sassy, be sassy, be sassy. Oh, girl. Look at that nose. Oh, <laughs> oh, like c- couldn't bug. be me. Look like it <laughs> couldn't be me. Not couldn't I, be me. Not me. Not me. Not me trying to be nice. My my birds were also freaking out downstairs. Oh, they're freaking out again right now. I don't know if you can why hear them. Probably not. Think, why do you think that you can flex on about having birds? I want a bird, and you know that, and you're just saying that just to make I'll me I'll give you a bird, all right, buddy. Will you? you give me a bird? I bet you, you stink you, in real life. You give me a bird? Really? I bet you, you give me a really- you're a stinky man in real life. I look like I got boogers, but it's just the light reflecting off my nose hairs. You know what I need to do? What? Unironically. What? I need to get a nose hair trimmer. Yeah, I'm that yeah. age. Yeah, I got I nose d- hairs. Can't really see them in the video, but like, I need to start trimming them. Yeah, I have nose hairs, and I, I have no. Sorry, I know I, 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 I clearly have nose hairs, but I have a nose hair trimmer as well, and I've used it once, and it kind of tickles a little bit. I should start trimming them. I've never had to do that before, but I'm getting hairy. I'm getting, I'm getting the hair of my lips. I'm getting to be that age where you know, my, my body's still perfectly fine on everything, but like little things, little tiny things where I'm like, mm, shouldn't happen. Uh, do you get the pee dribbles when you piss? Sometimes. That's just because I have so much fucking sex, dude. Is that what it is? You have, a, you have so much sex that you're pissed, you're, your little dick dribbles a little bit of piss in your underwear whenever you pee? <laughs> yep. Wait, seriously? That's is that why Do you I get, piss myself every time that I have to go pee? Yep, you're just too cool, dude. It's from all the sex. Yep, it's from all the sex. It's from all the- I, I'm gonna punch you in real life if you do anything remotely close to what you're doing right it's now. From, <laughs> it's from all the sex. The sex. The sex. Pro said toothpaste is bad and is doing that to his camera. I just, I, I, I have my, uh, it's my GoPro right now set up right in front of me. Oh, is it working? Yep. Want to see my, want to see my setup? Yeah. I mean, I can barely see it, but I'm sure the audience would love to. That's you. Um, yeah, so I set this up just now when you were uh, pooping. This is our wide angle? Yeah. Looks good. I assume. Does it look wide? Wide enough. I don't know why I asked you that question. Does you, it look you, wide at you? Want to enter my mouth and exit it before the no. real the real one? Wow. I miss Tristan. I do. I miss Tristan as well. I haven't talked to him in like one day. He's about to move this week, I think. He just uploaded his cross country video today. Did you see that? On Sidecase? No, on his main channel. I didn't see that. Wait, really? He narrates it too. It's like a. 13 minute video. Shut the fuck up. You're lying. I'm not lying. You're fucking lying. Hey, support our boys. Go watch Tristan's video. I told him I might see him in Hawaii this year. You did. Wait, I watched some of it? When did I watch some of it? Are you on (laughs) Reflux? No, on my channel. I I guess I must have just like clicked into it at some point by accident because I don't remember watching it. Maybe you previewed it. I don't know. It feels so good to like use the bathroom. 
The next like five minutes after you used the bathroom was like legendary, dude. I know. I know. You feel so empty and you just want to get filled up again. <laughs> uh, I have a question for you, Zach. I think this will be the, the, the final bit after the cunt era or whatever. Yeah. I have a friend who he he wanted to give us some uh, feedback. And okay. um, I don't mean to call him out, but he might have pushed out and he messaged me directly about it. Um, but I wanted to hear your take on some of the feedback that he has. It's okay. actually quite interesting. It's like our first. This is our first. Like, <laughs> I mean, I think this show sucks now, too, if I'm being real. So, yeah. I'm open well, to like, criticism. Luckily, it's not even that. He watches every episode. I'm probably on two times speed because I talk really slow. He was wondering how you and I would describe what Regurgitated is, A, as a podcast, and B, as a brand. <laughs> Regurgitated as a podcast is two little goofballs documenting their life and editing it in ways you, you, your edits are also really good and they elevate things. I guess that's what I'm trying to get at. But like the, the regurgitated podcast is two little goofballs documenting their life in silly little ways. That's it. Just documenting our thoughts and lives in silly yeah, little we, ways. We, we, with the, with the, we know we're not important. We're just, this is a, a, this is this, we're speaking Japanese for the two hours every other week. Yeah. And Ben yeah. is a really good editor and he makes it funny. And sometimes they say funny things and sometimes people come on in on bits. So, so sometimes we allow, we allow wiggle room to be in like, this is an episode just for bits or something, you know, yeah. regurgitated as a brand is an interesting thing though. I feel like we've been back and forth on this a lot. My opinion is like l- leaning into the shit posty nature of the internet so much. So, so much so until it's good. You know what I mean? Like quality, <laughs> yeah. quality, Shit, like dumb shit that's done in like a really quality way. You know what I mean? <laughs> I gotta. This is the Tristan. I'm doing the Tristan. Yeah, making, it looks really good with that more. wide angle too. Oh, oh. <laughs> but you know, Ben. Again, this isn't going to be a podcast channel forever. Pretty soon, there'll be yeah. more stuff than that too. There's other stuff where we. I was building out last year that I need to go through and like finish. So I think, you know, what does Regurgitator look like at the end of 2024? It might not be bigger. Hopefully, it is. But hopefully it's not just two guys just yapping. I mean, it will be that too. But hopefully it'll also be like there will be some interesting little ideas, Corey, and, interesting, interesting content for others to enjoy. Yeah, other than just like, a two-hour podcast. And again, Wait, Ben, same. I don't know how you feel specifically. Like you're kind of the brainchild behind this, but my larger vision has always been like, okay, well, if people start watching it, I want to like, you know, use that as a platform to like showcase other people, and you know get other people involved. You know what I mean? Like, I think like the Mm -hmm. community aspect is something that I would love to lean into for a lot of content. I would like, like it to be a platform where I'm like, wow, this person in our discord did this. Isn't that cool? And we can make fun of that. Or like we could leverage that for more content, you know? Um, I'm the the cat's out of the bag on this one too. I'm also, I have a bunch of shirt designs I'm trying to put up, but I fucking am procrastinating that too. But yeah, just a bunch I mean, of, the design language of regurgitated is like just kind of like gross shit done well, you know. Yeah, and it's and it's that's a really good that's a really good way to put it. Yeah, um, it it really is just like a whatever we want to do kind of channel, you know. Yeah, like we we do the podcast, which is like a, a regular thing, but then it's like whatever else we want to do and whatever we want to schedule. It's not like a and yeah. like super strict schedule, whatever. Um, I think eventually, you know, like but if something popped off, like I think there's potential for us to like refine that down into something more, but right now it's more of just a platform for us to just do what we want to do. So what is, the, so his next sound to what is the, do we have a clear focus? And I, I was like, no, not really making people laugh and just being, we have to be you funny know, first though. To open. Honest. Yeah. I tickle you. I will laugh if you tickle me. I'm a little ticklish, a little on my armpits, a little Should on my side. Should we do a tickle challenge when I come out to Cleveland? See- the cats. No, I don't want to see that. The cat scratched my stomach. The cat scratched oh. my tummy. See that? I got a cut right there. No, from what? I don't know. I woke up with it. <laughs> that is horrifying. <laughs> Put that away immediately. Wait, do that one more time. I want to take a picture and send it to Ethan. <laughs> 
There you go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I called it open invite, open conversation, uh, a la Discord nights with the boys. That's kind of how I described it. And I said, I said, I think the most theme appropriate episode was twenty one. Like that's kind of what I wanted from the from the show is to be like an episode twenty one. I wish twenty. I wish episode twenty one could be every episode. What when your friends joined? Yeah, we just when there was a bunch of people. Like that, there's like that was the most people we've had. Like just that idea. Yeah, it was really. I missed the rotating me. cast of characters. I loved it when it was like we would do an episode, and the next episode would be like an Ongo Glob situation, and then the next Dude, episode did, like Sean would did, join, and the next episode Tristan would join. I missed that rotating. People stopped group. caring when we moved to Riverside. I'll just say it. People stopped giving a fuck. They're like, oh, it's too scary. Not Discord. I'm pissed. I'm pissed. I'm you think if we somebody. moved back to Discord, it would be better? I think we would get more people on, yeah. Huh. Maybe. An I mean, interesting it, thought. It's so stupid. Is it worth a lower quality video to have more entertaining people? Yeah, probably. 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 We can talk about that. Probably. 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 What if we just straight up called people randomly? Name three people we could call. Other than Senators. Call, <laughs> yeah, bomb threats. <laughs> uh, I don't know. A friend. <laughs> I don't I, I don't a know. A friend. <laughs> yeah. This is sad. Oh. oh, okay. Do my fingers look skinny? Oh, okay. Do I look like I'm doing a Other Ben thing? sent back a bunch of water emojis to that picture by the way oh (laughs) it was in group chat no i sent it to both of them individually well he wouldn't answer your your that's super fucking cringe of him huh he wouldn't answer your call but he'll answer your text that's super cringe of him i've never called him once you know what i mean like i've never i've never given him a phone call i just feel like it's weird to now just give him a phone call and if it was for that he'd probably just hang up on me why like, obviously, if I was in trouble, he would probably answer. He should be the first person you call when you're in trouble. He'll get you. He'll zip Dude, you home right away. You know, you know about Ty, right? I do. This was um, many years ago. I was hanging out with this girl and she was like, uh, what, what is the game? It was, it was like truth or dare or some dumb shit like that. But And, and her dare was instead of picking like a fun dare with, with another girl. She goes, call someone in your phone and ask for money. <laughs> and so I was looking, I was looking through my contact. I, I didn't want to do it, by the way. I, I was very adamant. It's like, that's a, I don't want to call, I don't call people like that, you know? Yeah. But I was looking through my phone book and I was like, who would be someone that would probably A, answer the phone call and B, be like a good sport about it. And I just scrolled past Ty's name in my phone and I said, you know what? would be a good person to call so i called him up i asked for like a hundred dollars and he was like, oh are you okay he was like what, what's wrong are you okay and i eventually dropped it i'm like no i'm just you know i i am in a game of truth or dare i guess and i just decided to call you i'm joking with you whatever bye um i found out later that after that phone call, he had reached out to like Ethan and like a bunch of other people we knew being like, is Zach okay? Like Zach called wow. me and he asked for a bunch of money. I, I I don't have a whole lot right now, but I could like, you know, get other people and we could all send him money. Like he was trying to like group fund a hundred dollars for me, <laughs> like on the side, uh, despite me telling him that it was just a joke, you know? Dude, I had, I, I fuck, I, I did something uh don't know if it's worse similar so my buddy was asleep oh my god i feel like such an asshole thinking about this my buddy was asleep and i called the girl he liked that he worked with and i left him a, i left her a bunch of messages on his phone like prank messages yeah and she never wanted to talk to him again no i feel so bad about it i feel so bad about it people have done worse he was like crying, dude. I feel so bad about it. He was like, "Dang, I liked her." Sorry, bro. I didn't. I didn't know she be a bitch. <laughs> I also, I also, uh, when I was a kid, I used to. Uh, I say used to. I only did it once. 
I put uh, glass across the road. Uh, glass bottles that I found in the in the ditch. I put them across the road. That's really fucked up and bad. And I can't believe I did that. I mean, I I was not. This was way before I was even driving. I was like 13, 14, 15. Um, but I feel really bad about that too because I probably popped someone's tire. When I lived I also in West threw Virginia, binoculars at a car. Go ahead. When I lived in West Virginia, like a fun or a popular prank in our neighborhood would be to like drive by smoke bomb people. So like, you know, the little smoke bomb fireworks, right? Of course. All, all the different colors and everything. You drive by someone's house when they're all sitting out front and you would light a smoke bomb and like throw it at them and then drive away. And uh, we were all hanging out in the front porch of our house and someone tried to do it to us, but they like dropped it in their car and then tried to drive away. And then they got like, you know, 20 feet away and they had to stop and like open the door and kick yeah. it out. And there, it was yeah. just a really fun backfiring of the prank. Cause like those things are hard to get out the little mark where they sit. Yeah. You know oh, what I'm yeah. talking about? Yeah, I know exactly what you're talking about. I had a, I wanted to do that with Frisbees. Like, Cause there was this old uh, vine trend. I don't know if it was a trend. There was one guy doing it, but he would do techno waffle Frisbee where he'd play techno on his, in his car speakers and then just Frisbee uh, waffles out of his window in public places. And I went to that in town. And then I was like, I live in a white town with a bunch of like really sheltered people. I'd probably get the cops called on me and nobody would find it funny at all. At least you wouldn't get shot, you know, that I wouldn't get shot, but I would, I would get, I would get police attention because nobody is fun. They'd be like, Oh, that car, that silver car. I was throwing fucking uh, waffles at the window and I get arrested and I get shot in jail. I get beaten up and shot in jail. You wouldn't last a day that, in Zach? jail. Can you imagine that? Me getting shot jail? and beaten up no. in Zach to jail? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Can you imagine that? <laughs> yeah, you know what? Now that you've said it three times, I can. I can't I can't even imagine it. It'd be crazy. I'd break you out. It'd be crazy. I'd break you out, buddy. You don't want to break up, do you? Wanna I'd break, break you out Dude. Of, of I was thinking we make we do it we do a podcast. Yes. And we, so I know. So far, so good. You see the thing on the camera? Is it just a glare? I think it's just. A glare. I think it's glare. Um, we uh, we do a podcast and we like force some force a thumbnail from the podcast. So we're like, so I go like, bye Zach, and it's like, and then the thumbnail is like bye Zach, and it's just like us breaking up, and then people think that we're like breaking the band up. We've done and that before. Like, I think it's like. Uh, probably something similar, but I'm I'm thinking of purposely doing something in the podcast to make a good thumbnail. I think that'd be a good bit. We need you have like to leave an for like ten minutes. Then. You have to you have to leave. You have to leave like when it's a podcast with a bunch of people. You have to leave for like ten minutes, and then and then and then come back ten minutes later, and I can like base the thumbnail on that. That'd be pretty good. You like the thumbnail today? Did you ever see it in full? No, let me check it on my computer. Dude, fire thumbnail, fire thumbnail. It's fucking great. And we're definitely going to get some sort of community guideline strike to, due to it. Oh, is that why there's an X? Yeah. If maybe if you we could do, like pixelate it instead. I tried pixelating it. It looked like shit. I'm going to leave it. And if we get a community guideline strike, it doesn't matter because we don't, we're not monetized anyway. <laughs> we, we might eventually. Yeah. But I mean, we have nine, we have to get what, a 90 day turnaround. Oh, do we? What is on my head? Why does it look like there's like a thing on my head? Bandage. That's a head, there's a headset on there. It's like on my thing wrapped around my head. There's like a part of my face that's like re on it. Oh, in the thumbnail. Yes. Oh, like in your hair? No, like on the headband or on the eye coverage. Yeah, it looks fucked up. I'm like, it's going to be small anyway. Who cares? Sure. Pretty good, right? You did a good job on Sean and me. How did you do that? I don't know. I, I got. Did I you got kidnap my, people in real life? Yeah, I, I, I took. I took a uh, a uh, example photo for myself, and I was like, "All right, this is what I got to do," and I let him go, and then I shot him while they were walking away. Do you, Do you know who Viper the rapper is? Nope. You don't know Viper the rapper? Don't know Viper the rapper. I don't. Is it? Wait, is it an actual rapper? Is it actual music? He is an actual rapper. His his you wouldn't. 
he, he's one of those guys that has released like a like 500 songs a year for the past like 20 years. Little B. He's like Little B, but Little B sometimes makes good music. You know? Okay. Viper made y'all cowards don't even smoke crack. Nope, never you ever seen that picture. Nope. Oh, well, he's like a notorious rapper, and he was just convicted or arrested today for apparently having kidnapped a woman for like five years in his basement. Like, all just came out today. How have you not seen the y'all cowards don't even smoke crack picture? I have not seen the y'all cowards don't even smoke Hold on. crack. Maybe I have. I don't think I have. You've never seen this? Oh, maybe. I might Yule have. cowards? Yeah. Yule cowards. I might have seen that before. Yeah, again, he was apparently arrested today for, like, kidnapping a woman. That's kind of based. You ever yeah. seen that movie? What is, it, what is the movie about? It's about a guy who steals girls and, like, puts them in a dungeon. That's my life. And they're like... Yeah, get- oh, the Lovely Bones. Hmm? Lovely Bones? I don't know. Open! Open! Why are you speaking oh. like this? You sound like, an, you sound like an old. You sound like the old lady that I was fucking flabbergasting the other day. Oh, Ben, we missed was, a. Ho- we're gonna miss a holiday. I was flabbing all over. Wait, what holiday are we missing? The Chinese New wait, Year. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> when does this next episode go out? Is it tomorrow? Yeah, January six. Hey, it's, it's also in twenty minutes for me. I'll publish it. <laughs> publish it now. <laughs> Marsha should be on tomorrow. It's Marsha's day. Marsha's day and birthday and her the day that we had sex for the first time tomorrow. Maybe we can pull off like a February 6th. No, because that'll be the live ep- episode. Yep, it would be. Shoot. March 6th. She's two months late. Dude, the task cam mic that I've been looking for, uh, this, the second lab that I don't have, I don't know if it is now, but it was 50% off. It was only 100 bucks. I forgot to buy it. We have two lobs, right? Nope, one. I'm going to invest in a second one, obviously, before you get here. But okay, I trust you. There's a lot I have you. to do before you get here. I was going to say, it sounds like there's a lot of moving, moving parts. Yeah. So downstairs, where our setup is, I still haven't put up uh, any anything on the walls. Um, I also, which is what I was planning on doing, and I also uh, did my Christmas tree is down there, and a bunch of dirty laundry and. Uh, pillows are uh, 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 balloons are down there, so that's what that's gonna be our setup. Bro, when we come here. I gotta clean up my room. I have to help my family take down Christmas decorations tomorrow. I gotta drop my car off to get worked on, and I'm sick. And then I gotta go back to work again. And the next weekend, I'm going to L.A. L.A. You mean Cleveland? <laughs> Idiot. No, that'll be three weekends from now. Yeah, you, you, getting you, close. You, I got to be real with you, bro. Every time you say like, oh, I'm going to do this thing for a weekend, I'm like, I'd rather kill myself and hop on a plane <laughs> and hop off a plane. I'd, the plane ride itself is like I'm too driving much to LA. I guess that makes sense. Yeah. It's a six hour drive. Yeah. That's, that I would still kill myself if I was just there for a few days. Why? I need like, I need like a full week to reset for travel. That's uh, I don't have that much PTO, bro. My, I mean, when my parents came here for Thanksgiving, they had moved literally on the 18th and they had fi- they had moved from Connecticut to North Carolina on the 18th. And then they, five days later, they had to drive another nine hours to come to. So you, you have no family in Connecticut right now then, huh? I have my brother and my sister, but my older brother and older sister, they're still in there. Huh. Yep. They're the only piquettes in Connecticut. I, I asked Brian, I was like, Hey, is the, the, uh, the, the old house that I used to live in, does it, uh, is it, does it seem occupied? And they're and he was like, yeah, well, there's a wreath on the door. And I said, yep, that's occupied. <laughs> Maybe they're trying to know. spruce it up to sell it. I, I drive know. by my old house around here sometimes. The first house I lived in in Arizona, and the new people like have like low riders and shit out there, and I just find that very funny. Dude, For no reason, oh my there's God. nothing wrong with it. I just don't think it's funny that there's low riders out there. Going to Los Santos Customs and getting a low rider was sick as fuck in GTA. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about? You got the one jump? Yeah. The hydraulics. Yeah. yeah. You actually play GTA Online or are you just like fucking around in it at this point? Just like mindless. I used to play it pretty religiously. Nowadays, 
so I have the penthouse in the casino, right? So when I spawn in, I don't got to worry about getting shot up. Mm-hmm, I just spawn mm-hmm. in the casino. Mm-hmm. I come down, I spin the wheel. If I win any money, I'll go place a few bets. And if I'm feeling really spicy, I'll go drive around a little bit. But every now and then I'll play like some mission. But for the most part, I just get on and walk around the casino and drive around and listen to music. It's not cross-platform yet, or probably not going to be, I don't think, right? I don't know. I Dude, don't I know. Your, I would eat your ass in, in GTA Online. I started probably. my first... So GTA, I got GTA Day of Release. I got it for PS3 because I was like, I haven't used my PS3 enough. Let me try that, right? And it's also free to play online. Whoa. Um, or it was. Um, and so I got GTA... Uh, five and then it remember if you remember after release it was like two weeks before you could play online so i I didn't do it like any other campaign i waited two weeks to play online and i played online until i was level 13 and i was just riding bikes up mount chiliad and riding them down right mount chiliad that's all i would do and then i when it came out on pc in 2015 or i got i think i got in 2016 i played it and now i'm like level 130 fucking something they have wild animals now Yep, and you can take pictures of them. Did you hear about that? Yeah. I found a bag of drugs in GTA Online for the first time the other day. That never happened to me. Bag of drugs? Yeah, I was on top of Mount Chiliad, and my controller started vibrating, and I was like, what the hell's happening? And uh, I was waiting for something to happen, and I was like, is my controller just broken? And as I was walking around, I noticed that like, the closer I got to a particular spot, the more it would vibrate. Like it was almost like a heartbeat. Like I've never heard da, 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 when I would get really close. I was like, what the fuck is this? And it was like under the little platform area on a corner of the top of Mount Chiliad. And there was like a bag of cocaine. And I picked it up and it said, like, congratulations, you picked up like a psychedelic or something. And I was like, what? Congrats. Congrats for the, co- for the coke. Yeah, for sure. I've never, I've, I did not know that either. I did, um, I used to pick up the little statues or whatever. Yeah, I have a few of them. I think there's one yeah. up there in Mount Chiliad too. Yeah, that I, I. How much money do you have in GTA? I don't know. I don't. I, I think there's a lot more hackers on PC than there are in Xbox. But dude, you, the glory. I remember the glory days of GTA hacking. You don't even know. I'm gonna reload would, GTA. I, I, It'll I, take a while for it to load, but I'll. you fine. I'll tell you. I, I would I would be playing GTA like we did the criminal masterminds. Do you remember what that is? Vaguely. It's it's when you do all of the heists on hard without dying once. Oh no. Yeah, we did, I think so we we tried. did that. We did that and that was that was fun. That was a lot of fun. Uh, a lot of a lot of attempts. We couldn't um, coordinate a full team. Oh, well, there you go. Yeah, it has to be the same people too, which just sucks. Um so but we would finish uh, on one of the heists and be sitting. In, we'd finish one of the heists and be sitting in like you our, finished or how we'd be finished one of the hikes. We, we want to go on a hike. We'd be finished. We'd be finished one of a hike. <clears throat> we'd finish one of the heists and we'd be sitting in the apartment and then we would just look at our money. We would have like a billion <laughs> fucking dollars, which is so base. And then you spend it and then Rockstar takes it away. But you're like I already spent the bitch. What are you gonna do now? Yeah, but I remember back because I again I was playing on Xbox. There was an era, there was an era, a cunt era. Era. era, but uh, where like you would join a lobby and then it would be like someone set a five billion dollar bounty on you, <laughs> and the game was you would hide in your apartment until the bounty expired, and everyone else in the game would go around your apartment like blowing it up and crashing mm-hmm. airplanes mm-hmm. into it, being like, surely there's a chance, like. If we all wait out here, he might come out. <laughs> you know, yep. like yep. I, I'm sure he will. Uh, but then you could do like DNS servers. So like, what I found out you could do is like go into the Xbox Wi-Fi settings and like hook up. You could like type in someone else's like IP address for their server, um, and then load in the modded lobbies like that and like glitch it out. I never. So did at that. one point. At one point, I had a ton, and then Rockstar did take it away from me. But I never did it to the point where they like perma banned me, like they did some people, and mm-hmm. they never adjusted it properly. Like they still gave me like a quite a bit of money I shouldn't have had. Um, Dude, Rockstar used to 
every month for with uh, Twitch Prime, you get a two hundred fifty thousand uh, dollars in, in, in GTA. Like every month, I mean, that's just like that's free fucking money. That's that's I know that that's probably not a lot of money now, but I mean at that at the time and but even before that, I mean, it was just like that's so much fucking money. So I'll tell you how much money I have. Oh, here we go. Uh, but keep in mind, I did just buy a nightclub in GTA, so this is uh. Not completely accurate. Is it really only that much? Hold on, let me deposit my money, my cash into my... Oh, you know what it was? Not only did I buy um, a nightclub, but I also bought a private jet in all of the rooms for my penthouse in the uh, casino. Because I was like, GTA 6 is coming out. What am I going to spend the money on? So I only really have uh, 1936000 But, and here's a but, I keep my casino winnings as like a secret bank account because again, I kind of roll it in the big horse winnings. So I also have 1,241,000 casino chips I could cash out at any time. I so probably total, have zero money now. Go ahead. So total, I have like 3 million in GTA. Okay. That's, yeah, that's pretty Not good. A t- it used to be way more. I used to have like, I think I bought like the $10 million jet at one point. Mm-hmm. I have the gold private jet in GTA. Do you have the rock? So at one point it was like 20 or 30 million. Now I'm down to just like three. What level are you? 137, almost 138. Do you have the Nothing rocket crazy. Voltic? What? The rocket Voltic. What's that? It's the rocket car. Oh, I think I do. That's my favorite Maybe? thing to do is just use the fucking rocket Voltic. Fuck I the have flying, the, like, little fuck flying, the flying bike. bike. The flying bike is so fucking stupid. It's so Not fucking the hover stupid. One. I have both of them. I don't use the hover one. I like the little gliding one. Yeah, yeah. The, the flying, the, the 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 flying one. You just shoot fucking rockets and you win. It's so goddamn annoying. All right, all right. I think we're at about a time where we can wrap this up, Zachary. What do you want to say to the fans now that uh, you've you've gone two and some in hours, uh, and you got McDonald's and you're sick and you have three million dollars in GTA and you don't know what Baldur's Gate is and you also like Starfield. What do you want to say now? Guys, I am I am I'm deeply sorry. I promised big things for 2024 and here I am. That was Just a dying. really fucking stupid cough. What is that, dude? What is that? Do it again. All my All my uh all my loving and adoring fans despise me right now. But it's okay cuz the next time you see me, I'll be in Cleveland, Ohio. Isn't that broken? What? That being silly? in Cleveland? Yeah. Yeah. Isn't that a silly Well, thing? I guess that's not true. It'll be live tomorrow. But then after that, Cleveland, Ohio. Dude, we're going to be and in knock Cleveland. Knock on wood. Knock on wood. I will not be sick. We're going to be and in Cleveland. And there will be good things that come sick. from it. We're going to be in Cleveland. You're not going to be and sick. And then the rest of 2024 will be good, too. The rest of 2024 will be good. 2024. Like a blooper. It's going to be good. Should we live react to debates? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just for, just let's live react to foreign policy. I'm down for yeah. it. In like, in like, like tragedies. <laughs> Active school shooters. You, you ever, you ever see that, that, that it was, it was like a meme kind of, it was a, uh, XQC wow. like reacting to nine 11 or something like that. Oh yeah. I did see yeah. that. We could, we should do that. Regurg on president. On President Biden, on Biden. Regurgitated reacts to the assassination of John F. Kennedy. Oh, oh, he died. You know, I saw recently oh. people on Twitter were like, I didn't know we had video of this shit. Like everyone was freaking out about Zoomers there being video anything. of JFK. That's all it is. Zoomers don't and know And someone was like, anything. how are you, how do you not know they had video of this? Are you dumb? And like everyone clowned on that guy for some reason. Everyone was like. I don't know why I, I forget. I, this was like a couple months ago, so I forget the specific responses. But someone was like, "How do you not know there's video of JFK getting assassinated?" And like everyone, like hundreds of people were like, "This isn't like a commonly known thing." That's crazy. Like I'm just as surprised, and it's like I th- I'm pretty sure I was shown it like in school. Yeah, I was watching. Know? I saw a censored version in school, like where, where the board yeah. was, the sports splatter was censored. Yeah, but like it's not like they filmed it like that. You know what I mean? Like his brains did explode. <laughs> you know, like that. Yeah. Di- like it's not like the camera didn't capture that, even if you did watch a censored version. Oh well. Isn't it crazy that his 
his wifey like went look try to grab for his fucking the rest of his skull. Well, I mean, you don't know what to do. I don't think my someone next I to you gets know. capped. Like you don't know exactly. Like you don't know how to react. Let you me grab to, his like, head. Make right sure. Quick. I don't know well, if I'd be doing that. Maybe you wouldn't, but she did. Number one, right, me, and number me and you, two. Jack, me, you, me, you in a car. Me and you in a car. Well, I'm Ooh, just saying. With, goes, I'm, I'm, I'm sure there's a part of you that's like, did that really happen? Like, oh shit, that really happened. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. I, I'm, I am too afraid of my own mortality, bro. <laughs> Oh, you got a bad bitch getting you champagne? This is me in the casinos. Why are you shirtless? Put a fucking shirt on, Zach. Why does it look this like you in real character. life? It looks like you this in real my, life. This has been my GTA character since I was in like high school. I've not changed it once. You look so silly. You look like a silly little top hat idiot. I made this character. I've unlocked so much clothes. But, uh... Oh, do you want to see my penthouse? Show me, yeah, sure. Show me your penthouse. <laughs> Do you feel like I've been I've been good today, Ben? You've been a good boy, yeah, for sure. You've been you've been Have very puppy coated today, I would say. I've been puppy coated. What does that mean? <laughs> yep. Uh, you, my little puppy, Wolf Wolf, gave you a biscuit. What the hell? You don't agree? Want to play soggy biscuit with me? What the fuck, dude? I think about often how much the icing on toaster strudels looks like. Come, it's crazy. It's really colorful. Yeah. Do you have one like of a, these? It's like a big pride flag. Do you have one of these? I don't think I do. Yeah, I bet you don't. I think Mike does. I don't think I have one of these. But have you taken pictures of I have of my wildlife? own like, hairdresser in here and my own uh, um, like casino in here and my own bar in here. Yeah, but do you have, do you have, do you have pictures on the walls of the wildlife that you've captured pictures of? No, but I will. Yeah, but maybe not. So, this is my own movie theater, dude. It's crazy. Wait, what are you gonna watch? What are you gonna watch? Uh, probably Space Rangers. Oh yeah, this is my little uh, casino dealer guy. I can play blackjack okay. in my room. Pretty cool. Alone. Yeah. Or I could invite friends. This is my uh, little spa area. Wow. This is all to me, and it's all in the casino. Isn't that crazy? Why do crazy? you have that walk cycle? That walk cycle really matches you in real life, but why did you choose it? This is my hairdresser. He just is here all the time. He never leaves. He never sleeps. He never eats. His feet are and probably so wet from me. the mild splashing. For, from he that watches wall. me as I go take baths. Bro, you changed your fit. Yeah, you're not allowed to see you're me back. like that. Dude, I bought everything in here. It's crazy. Oh, you I can the play pink arcade room? games. Bro, play an arcade game. And drink. Can you play pa- Pac-Man? No. If you can't play Pac-Man, what can you play? Anyways. I play GTA Online sometimes. Yeah, we should start a GTA Online podcast. GTA RP? You're talking to the right guy. You know what I'm talking about, right? I damn right do know what you're talking about. It's super big what right care? now. Well, it's been big for a while. What profession would you choose in GTA RP? Uh, cops are cringe, so not a cop. Um, be a garbage man. No, I'd be like, I'd be like the guy that like pushes out patients on a on a wheelchair, so I can take them into on wild rides. Wow. Yeah, like, I'd, like, of you. I'd like lift them up onto my shoulders and like run them around like Mount Chiliad or something or like put them in a car and, and run them around and give them a great grand old time. I would be 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 the wheelchair fun guy. Should I do the news live from Cleveland? Yes, you should. You should do the news live from Cleveland. Would that be awkward if I was right next to you instead? No, I'm going to put you up against a wall and pound you like a little boy. <laughs> On the news? Yep. You ever see the naked news for that? Yeah, I think we've talked about this on the show before. That was like my first exposure to like naked people on the internet. Yep, and we're going to do a new rendition of that. <laughs> What's the worst joke I said on the show? 
I'm probably the one where you said the black people have big noses or whatever. That's not, I meant on the news show. <laughs> oh. That's a good question. Probably the one where you said that the Chinese people don't deserve something. No, that one was about Chinese people having to walk. Right. That right. one wasn't that bad. Yep. That was just so saying, were- like, the, the news article was like, the ch- it's like immigrants, Chinese immigrants coming on foot or something. And I was like, yeah, I'd like to see them try. It's a dumb. What's on my teeth? <gasps> you have bad teeth, dude. I know. The roof of my mouth is also the color of the roof of the bottom of my mouth as well. Anyways, we're gonna be we're gonna be funny. We're gonna be funny. It's gonna be fine. Yeah, so thank you everybody for watching the podcast. This was a good one. I'm happy that I am here for it. Uh we'll be back in like a month. Probably. Yeah, we're probably about film, a month. We're gonna film it and it's gonna be good and there's gonna be more content coming soon. So in this. <laughs> Well, you don't have to watch us every week, every other week, I mean, and it's going to be a good time. Thank you, everybody. Sign language people joining. be confused. Oh, yeah. They probably don't know what I'm saying here. Yeah. ASL. ASL? American Sign Language. That's not the disease. Why ASL? Uh, Zach, let him, yeah, hit him home. Ooh, man, I like the way. Ooh. Ooh, <laughs> no, that's I it. Like. <laughs> <laughs>